Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, Justin Esmacher, alongside me with... Marcus Ola and Philip Garcia. Thank you so much to the Sunset Strip for letting us record here. If you're in Austin, make sure you check out a show. You might see one of us on it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Rate us on Spotify. You can also comment on Spotify if you want. Uh, so you don't just have to listen. You can, you know, do all the fun stuff on there. Check us out August 24th. We're going to be at Hyenas in Fort Worth in the Red Room, 10 p.m. Links in the description if you want to get tickets for that. Please check that out. Also, we got merch links in the description for myself. And for Philip, this was a great podcast this week. We talked about aliens, whether or not they're real, and why Phil's scared of them. This guy apparently believes in flat earth. We'll get into all that. And uh, believe it or not, the minions have their own language, and he's fluent. And then we got into some unethical life hacks. And, uh, yeah, we'll just let you figure out how that went. So enjoy this week, and thanks for checking out the Works Every Time podcast. All right, my bad. From the top. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, all. <laughs> Hello to all our new viewers. All our new viewers. None of us said it really well. <laughs> Do you want me to say welcome back or just? No, Hello? I got it. I got it. I got it. Welcome hey, oh, welcome to all of our new viewers. Uh, <laughs> if this is your first time checking out the pod, or maybe the second time checking out the pod, welcome back. We're well, hap- we're happy you're here. Are you not happy they're here? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for coming back and che- thank you for checking us out. I'm also sorry. <laughs> what a- are you sorry for? I mean, if they, if, if, depending on how long this is gonna, the intro is gonna get cut for us to get to this moment. I'm sorry, but anyways, and you're welcome at the same yeah, time. Yeah, and you're welcome. Now, Thank you for being here. Uh, if you're not familiar with the pod, we do got some rules. Um, number one is no Austin comedy. Why? Because no one cares. cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Exactly. Yeah. So Seriously. rule number two. two. We, we don't, don't hate, hate women. women. Why? Because we, we don't, don't hate, hate women. women. That's a simple one. That's yeah. simple. Uh, caveat, rule 2C to that is we don't say, say that word. That's a no-no word. That's a bad word. People stop and, saying and it. And Justin, but why? Because, because we, we don't, don't hate women. women. There you go. Now, yeah. now no, rule three, guys, say it together. We call it the Justin special. If you get, get too negative, negative, you have to gotta say, say something positive. positive. And I just said something negative. Like you what? did. I what? said it's the Justin special. I meant you that. Did. I meant what the it hell? in a not nice way. Okay. I'm sorry. But it's okay because it kind of it was uh, lining with rule number four, which is be, be funny. funny. Why? Because, because we don't, don't hate, hate women. women. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that gives brings us to number five, five. which is have fun respectfully. <laughs> respectfully and I, I respect you. I don't. Res- I do. Yep. He almost, Thanks, man. Almost messed I tried up. to be nice. I tried. To, I got to be a better person. Yeah. I've been negative lately, and I got to be a better person. Be more positive. Woo! You do need to be more positive. I do. What's up with that? Why is it so hard for you? I don't know. It's been a real big problem. What happens? Lately. Do you remember having happy thoughts? No. <laughs> it's actually kind of bad. Well, you, like, forget them? I only... No, I have happy thoughts, but, like, I'm constantly thinking of... I future travel too much. And I'm constantly thinking of like anything I see, I almost so look at the bad of it all. It's really bad. You're worried about that. the bad things that are happening in your life, and you're also worried about the good things that could happen in your life. Yeah. But you got to pick one. I got to pick one. I'd like to pick now. I'd like to pick the present. Be I'd like here to now. Be here. I'm trying to be, and I keep telling myself that more every day. Where are you right now? Right here on the Works Every Time podcast. Thanks for checking in. Every Monday. Have every- you ever heard of Ram Das and his book, Be Here Now? It's essentially. I have now. It's his, essentially. His I'll let you borrow you it. It's so great, funny. but essentially the whole Do thing. I gotta read it? Is around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But hey, guess what? Half of it has coloring, coloring like uh, pictures and stuff in it. Yeah, pictures. Okay, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, All it's right. a re- it's a really neat looking book. If you would have uh, said pop up book, you had me. It's about a guy. He goes to. He's a Harvard psych- psychology doctor, like teacher, masters a guy. But then he teaches. He's a janitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Wait, 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 wait. Is He's, this... He starts giving all... Yeah, it's Goodwill Hunting. That's a, is it Goodwill Hunting? <laughs> Goodwill Hunting, but it's Good Trip Hunting. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. All yeah, right. man, I was just locked in that closet for hours, but I didn't mind. It was just me, the mop bucket. And if you flip that mop upside down, it's got some hips on it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, but, no, the guy, he he was the, the master's, like... Student teacher. I don't know how to. I'm not. I've been in college in years. Janitor. 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 Sure. Yeah. yeah. He was your um, assistant. He started giving them all like psychedelics because he thought that they were. It was like the early 70s or early 60s, so they were like revolutionizing it. Then Harvard finds out about it, uh, and then they shut the whole program down. MK Ultra starts because the government catches wind that they were playing around with like mind control 
What's it, MK Ultra? Oh Ooh, lord! It's fun. the government's effort to like try to find out how they could use mind control substances on the American people throughout the Cold War. Now, Justin, did you think it was a brand of Michelob Ultra? I just summarized that perfectly. You yeah. did. We, uh, we did mention this before, actually. Yeah, yeah. MK Ultra was crazy. But yeah. that guy goes to India. He takes a bunch of drugs. He comes back. He basically studies the like the the science of presence yes. being here now. And then the it all revolves around the idea that if you are stressed about something, it clearly is involved with your ego. Not like a bad way. Ego is just something we all have. Yes, exactly. You gotta like, yeah, yeah. silence the I ego. I gotta break the ego. Clear down. the mind. Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about doing a reset. I need one. You wanna Ooh. do it? Yeah, because last time you Actually, locked I'm yourself in your apartment and, and yeah. it turned into a crisis situation. Yeah, yeah we it's should... a beautiful day out tonight. Today. Yeah. Oh, today. <laughs> I have a backyard with you trees. You wanna do it today? You do, man. You you should. And do I it have there. a lot of them. Yeah. And I have a lot of help helpers. Yeah. Little soldiers, I call them. <laughs> Yeah, but if you're not careful, those soldiers can turn on you. You know what they I mean? They can. You ever heard of a mushroom coup? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're against <laughs> would be, would me? Be the really mushroom funny, coup? No. What would be really funny is, like, if your trauma from the last time of you getting locked in your t- t- second-story apartment stuck with you so much that this time you just opened all the doors in your house yeah, to feel yeah, the you're freedom. Like, no chances. <laughs> we are S- not taking... Sliding doors, windows. <laughs> what? Oh, the, oh, the mushroom... Okay, yeah, so we uh, decided to do mushrooms. You know, I wanted to have a good night. And we were going to watch the movie Across the Universe. Yeah. Right? He's not summarizing it at all. He's just retelling it. No, we wanted to watch that. So we did the mushrooms, and we want, we planned it. So I set everything up, but we ran out of alcohol. So we go puffed alcohol. We Uber eats alcohol. And by the time we ordered it, in 30 minutes, it wasn't there yet. And all of a sudden, the mushrooms hit me, and it got bad. And then the Uber driver got there, knocked on the door. My fiance gets up to open it. And the door doesn't open because it breaks. And Classic. she's like, Justin, can you help me? Can you help me? And I'm like in the couch, stuck in the couch. And I'm like, I can't get up. And um, I told her we don't need the stuff. And then she's like, the door won't open. And so I got up to open the door. <laughs> and the door, I just kept locking it. And then my brain was like, maybe unlocking it is actually locking it. So then I'm doing it the opposite ways and trying it. And then it's just <laughs> not working. And, and the guy's like knocking on the door. You, and I'm like, I can't get it. I can't get it. And Jordan, and so now I'm freaking, now I'm like mad. And I was like, I was in such a good mood. I was in such a great mood. And I'm like, this would fucking happen. That's how my life works. Everything, I'm like, everything I do, it like but, something goes like but that's wrong. The, that's the universe. That's what the universe will do. It'll, I know, it'll it give fucks you, with me so hard. But also, did yeah. you not see what happened there? You were having a great time yeah. on Mushroom. Yes. Yeah. And then what messed it up? God, alcohol. alcohol, God, and he's being cruel. Oh uh, yeah, it was and he has God. a very weird sense yes. of humor. Yes, and the, but the funny thing is, like during <laughs> when when the mu- the mushroom started to hit me, I was getting messages like I was there was like it was like saying like something like you don't need the alcohol, you don't need the person to come there. It's evil, and I tried to get out of it, before but I didn't want to lose it. Yeah, before the door, and I tried to wow. tell Jordan, I'm like, don't get the door. We do not need it. The person's evil. Like just. Sit here. The this person is before they knocked. Evil. Yeah, this is before they knocked. Did you mean that, or did you just say the person was evil to calm her down more about the situation? I was just trying to say like we don't need it. Like I was trying to say like it's just bad. Like it's just gonna it's just gonna be like bad. Something forecasted yeah. like it was gonna be you bad. Were Especially right. on mushrooms, you're sitting there going, maybe this shouldn't happen for a reason. And that's such yes. a weird thing to be like. Literally, that's like the the metaphor knocking on your front door. Like that is yeah. actually knocking on your front door, and you're sitting there in a feeble minded position. Yeah, and the universe is just. Giving you, and it's, it's the crazy, giving you the answer, and the crazy thing, yeah, because yeah, you don't know. Like, I mean, Uber Eats, you don't know who the person is. It could have been a crazy person. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it saved us. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Really yeah. think about it. And also, we didn't need the alcohol because <laughs> I was out of my mind. That's the biggest thing. And across the yeah. universe, amazing. Apparently, <laughs> alcohol kills that process the in your stomach. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's good if you're trying and to that's calm what, down. Yeah, I wasn't trying to calm down. I was just trying to keep drinking. Trying to calm up, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to calm up. But you know, um, I hate that yawny phase of the mushroom. When you yawn, yes, the I yawny phase sucks. You don't, you don't stop yawning. Yeah, it, and your eyes are just watering. And then you just end up being in like a Doctor Strange moment. That's when yeah. they, you're like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. That's, I love when it hits the euphoria, boof. But I and I, like, but the thing that was unfortunate with that trip, that's what I was trying to say, it was like, I planned it. Like I set up my couch. Like I sat. I was like, I'm not gonna move because I know, like, mm-hmm. if I move, I didn't want to stress out. I just wanted to. Melt, and I just wanted to feel good. Yeah, and then hmm. that fucking happened. But I had a great trip. Uh, she didn't. She freaked out the whole time. Yeah, and I had to calm her down. So I'm like, man, this is hard. Hey, man, 
if you ever want to get the boys together, and Today. we turn into trolls, right? We just turn into little blue men I would living in a that. tree. You know, what is it, the Smurfs? Yeah, yeah, but I like we to can go, go Smurf mode. I like to get away, and I like to not, I like to, like, everyone knows I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't call me. Yeah. I, I even Dude, I me. can't, dude. I, the, yeah. So many things My thing like is, that I just have happened be when I've been on them. Like, I don't even want to be, like, wandering around the forest, yeah. really, because the way it hits me, I just, like, it's too much, and no, I no, want to be comfortable. No, not wandering around the forest. Wandering around your backyard pretending it's the forbidden forest from Harry Potter. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yes. Because I'm in a safe, like, fenced zone. We could have zone. a magic battle. And I have light. Yeah. And I'll bring my lightsaber. No, you just need a tennis ball. <laughs> Throw yeah. it back and forth at each other. Really trying to it's bagel. fantastic. Just me crow hopping it at you yeah. like across the yard. <laughs> and like, Whoa, man, that slow it down. That yeah. hurt. And then my dog, she'd be like a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Or a dog. Or There's a magical dog. dogs. Magical Your dogs. dog can turn into Sirius Black or something like that. That'd be cool. Could you imagine yeah. she'd be like a werewolf? She turns into a human. I don't like yeah. that. Hey guys. I don't like that. Hey guys. I couldn't do that. Hey guys, it's me, Evie. That's you wanna I, you wanna throw the ball? That's when I lock the doors. That's when I lock myself. Lock them door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you see a human? Yeah. You would be tripping so hard, you just let your dog run away. Like, be free. I can't. Go back to the wilderness. I think the last time in Austin, I had to do a set. Like, a, it sprung on me. Someone gave me a microdose chocolate, and it was not it was like a homemade thing. And then I ended up having to do comedy. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, just get to your set. Like, you're, you'll be comfortable doing your set. Like, you know what to do yeah. up there, you know? And I did that, and I got off stage, and, like, the adrenaline of that just wiped it out completely. I was like, that's cool. That's wow. cool. But yeah. leading up to that. Yeah. Very hard. Leading up to those moments, and then I get on stage, and all of a sudden, words, they just come out naturally. You're like, okay, thank God. Yeah. Because I blank out. Eager. Yeah. You get a little bit eager. Eager. But it's, it is crazy to do something that's so ego-driven, like on, on the something that kind of strips the it first away. Time I, the first time I did mushroom, I had a huge ego break, because I was yeah. in public, in a public place for the first time, and I was on a, a big dose. It was at the Hollywood Improv. Yeah, and there was people all there, and I was just man. I really, I re I wanna, I wanna like make you do mushrooms right. Yeah, I do it how kind of you do it too, the same way. Like yeah. in, the, in the apartment, you but, might plan yeah. one excursion, two excursions, but really you're just like watching crazy YouTube videos, listening to music, and playing with the lights. I'm saying you're gonna <laughs> listen to the same album four times in a row. Yeah, think you listen to it 18 times in a row. Turns yeah. out you only listened to it once, yeah. and it's only been like 35 minutes. What? You, you have three and a half more hours of mushrooms to go. Yeah. You've already cried. Yeah. You've yeah. laughed harder than any time ever before. Yeah. You've taken a nap. Yep. You've woken up. Yeah. You have to pee again. Yep. That's the hardest one, because then you're looking at and, the toilet, and it's and, moving. And, and you're already like, oh, I feel better, and I'm still... And that's when you throw on, like, Planet Earth or something. That was my experience the first time. I watched the toilet just shrink down. Yeah. Really tiny, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know when that doesn't happen? When you sit down. Yeah. If that's you're on mushrooms, sit to pee. I don't know who's telling you that that's gay, but on the mushrooms, you should at least be like, dude, oh, I'm oh my chilling. Gosh. So wild that we're talking about this, because today I went outside and to play with the dog, and I looked down, and there was a little plot of mushrooms. Wow, did you and eat we're them? talking about mushrooms right now. I did. You and ate I the mushrooms. <laughs> no, I didn't eat. No, I didn't eat them. Backstory. They looked wild. They looked crazy. Yeah. And I think they're probably from dog shit. So <laughs> I don't know what that would do. Do dog shit mushrooms? Can we look that up? Do dog shit mushrooms? No. Uh, what happens? Because <laughs> like, I got a whole. I got like ten of them right it now. Happens, in my, in my, it in only my lawn. happens like that when a cow is being fed a rye-based diet, and then it can grow from there. Okay, that's how mushrooms grow. The yes. ones that well, work. those are those are cow shit. Those are hillbilly mushrooms. Yeah, hillbilly mushrooms. That's what they call them. Hey, now. come on down to hillbilly farms. We'll get you some hillbilly mushrooms so you can be a hillbilly hillbilly with these hillbilly mushrooms. Thank you. If you're tripping so hard that you're not sure who won the Civil War, you might be on some hillbilly ah. mushrooms. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God is fucking. If ass, you dude. if you painted your car orange and put a flag on top and thought it was an actual flag, you might be on hillbilly mushrooms. This is this is gonna like, kind of a segue talk. So we're talking about hillbillies, and there's aliens written up there. This made me think about it because I listened to a podcast recently and it told the story of this Kentucky hillbilly family mm. uh, that aliens were involved. Right, there's like four adults and like six kids. It's a real hillbilly situation in one house on a tobacco farm. <laughs> one day, like Lucky is his name, goes out and he's in the he's on the field. He sees three orbs. They come down, and he says that, like, gray 
goblin looking creatures. That's what g- g- goblin looking creatures. I don't know how to explain yeah, explain yeah, yeah. aliens in fifty four. Like there's just some goblins. They're great goblins. But this isn't the thing that he comes back in the house and like, have you lost your mind? They're like, no. He's like, they're there. And then the movie Critters, if you ever seen that, is okay. based on this story. But it they they like fight off these aliens apparently all night. They're shooting them. They said it sounds like hit like the guns hitting metal and they float away and they come back. And the they at like four o'clock in the morning, right when the sun hits like the horizon, they all jumped in their truck and went down to the, the downtown police station, right? And they came back and they're like, No, you gotta come look at it. They think we're crazy. And they like there was shotgun blast all over the house, like a war had happened. And they're like, We don't have money to just like blow out our screens and shoot up our property. Like you can either believe us or not, and it's never been debunked. It's kind of a weird one. So you're saying so <laughs> Dude, alien So war. you're saying aliens came down to this farm. Yep, tobacco. And these hillbillies. They wanted some cigarettes. They were smoking their cigarettes, and they pulled out their <laughs> shotguns, and they're like, get the shotgun, Cheryl, and yeah. then just pow. A just, rifle and a shotgun, yeah. And they're shooting up the house, the trying roof, to kill. Through the window. They said, like, the window. It, it's, because they said, were they on pictures. top of the house? There's pictures of their house. Let's, can we it's see the called, house, please? It would be like, con- just I'd say Kentucky alien incident would get you there. Yeah, but it's like a really weird. See what happens when you drink Mountain Dew as a baby. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to like be <laughs> Mister. Yeah, the shit Kelly on Hopkins, the parade, but I mean, definitely if you incident. if you eat too many mushrooms in the middle of Arkansas, you might shoot your house up. There's a picture of them looking at their roof right there. Oh, That's there they, one of the there's most a picture of what happened right there. No, and if you go back down, wait. It's crazy because they went right home there. that night. Right there next to the colorful picture to the left. That's a picture of the incident. Right. Yeah. There. Right, there's a... Jesus Christ. That's what they described him as. They went back home that night, and the same thing happened. Did they shoot any of them? Did they kill yeah, them? Yeah, they ran out of ammo that, that evening, though. Wait, so I thought there was only three. Dog. No, they said that there was anywhere between 12 to 15. Yeah. What were they shooting at them, with or lasers? They, no, they weren't shooting at them. They were just trying to get in the house. The you aliens? You ain't the aliens were trying to get in the house, yes. And they were walking with their hands up. It's really strange. It's They're like, hey, thing. we just want a cup of sugar for our... That's what my brother said. He was like, I think that the aliens maybe have got, gave us a shot and they came down to America and they were like, they ha- all have self-protection devices. <laughs> They're they like, we can't get close to them. I said, God damn right. I said, uh, Joey said hi to one of them and he got shot in the face. That's why they're trying to take our guns away so they can oh. usher in the alien overlords. How would you respond to an alien? Like if you had to deal well, with an alien? It depends on how it's d- coming for you. Dude, I'd be like, you got a lighter? You no, I mean to, that's your first move. You smoke, huh? That's all I was gonna say. Smoke, but also, but I mean, honestly, yeah, what happens? I would smoke with an alien first. I'm probably already smoking. What if they're violent? Well, I don't want to smoke well if with they're them violent, then, then I'll uh, I'll but, come hey, at them. Calm down, dude. I'll come at them the same way I come <laughs> at a person that was violent. Hit that vape. But I was talking about my alien stories. I know. I want to be high for it. Hey, welcome to Works Every Time podcast. You sound Where like Marcus the guy. Will you just, sound like Lucky. I was talking about my alien stories. <laughs> yeah. The alien just popped up. Apparently, the family got mad when people said green goblins afterwards. They like got extremely... No, they weren't green. They were silver. They were silver, and they drove a Prius. It was electric. That is funny. I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. Did you get your vape? It's your vape. Say something positive. Yeah, I, was say some, I didn't say anything dude, negative. I, I think you've been crushing this podcast, Justin. Thanks. You've been like on the money. Hey, yeah. I'm trying to be in the present, You've been dude. I read. It. I recently read this book called uh, "Be in the Here Now." Ramdas. Yeah, Ramdas. That's his name. Ramstein. He was this professor, and he studied, uh, like psychedelics. The janitor. He was a janitor, I, I, and he also did psychedelics. Dude, and I, I read his book, and now I'm here in the present. Yeah, so. I do think it's funny to be like he was like a professor scientist, blah blah blah, and it's like you're just so on MK Ultra acid. It's like. No, that was the janitor, oh. dude. He just kept giving you acid, and, and you were so. I had a question <laughs> about that. Experiments on me, man. It's like, no, you and the janitor got high for four years, dude. <laughs> just in the janitor talking. closet, and they just dude, like, figured no. out. A- it was the government, man. They were trying to mind control. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you I, and Matt Damon did acid, dude. I had a question about <laughs> MK Ultra. Okay, it's not about what it is. My thing is this: it's the bullshit. So all of a sudden, when normal people try psychedelics and they try to do studies on it and do it safe <clears throat> they get shut down but then the government's like well i guess we do have to study it or they want to do it anyway or they open their minds to it well why is it the government gets to do it and they're just like yeah it's for uh, the government but just a normal person can't just do it for their own free will they're giving veterans like mdma now well good it's cool 
I did MDMA and I did a, com- a also, comedy show once. You can go get like ketamine over the counter now. <laughs> he was there. Wait, you did MDMA and did a comedy show once? Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, it went, dude. Oh my god. Are you doing a set that night or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Oh my god, fuck! <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the time. He Is did. that a terrible? He did comedy on Molly. T- <laughs> what happened? He crushed. It was so oh, awesome. Oh, I bet dude. that felt it amazing. Was, it was awesome, bro. Oh, just the truth about... was pouring out yeah, of my mouth. Was, he was just being so real up there, dude. And people were like, "Oh my god!" Dude. Yeah, this and we were at this like crazy. We were at this art studio. I don't know. We started running a show at an art studio, and it was <laughs> trippy there. all over the way. And <laughs> Justin's just, just on Molly, and, and we got like we would pack it out sometimes, <laughs> depending. Yeah. And it was made. Well, it was on the end of it. Yeah. We did it. I don't even know why. I did it like. Dude, you know what the best friend. part about that show is? Yeah. Like, me and my other friend, Justin, did a lot of the legwork for it. Uh, but it was like. Cool. <laughs> well, he had to hook up with the venue. Yeah. And I had a lot of free time. And Justin just showed up on Molly and Crush. Dude, Justin would show up every month and be like, why don't I get to host? Every every month he would show up and be like, "Why don't I get to host?" Well, I'd go up, I'd show up, and then they'd be like, "Hey man, you're doing five minutes." What? That's not true. Well, are you? Were That's you also true. on Molly? No, just Justin. I was high as fuck. No, it was just he showed up on Molly. He was like, "Guys, I'm on Molly." His Justin used to be fun as fuck, dude. <laughs> Justin used to go hard in the paint, dude. Why were you? Justin on Molly? was because it was just a fucking Monday night, and I was just like, whatever. "It was not a Monday night show." I don't, I don't remember. No, it was like Friday. I don't know. It was random. I don't. I. I don't I had, remember. I wanted to. I, I do was it. drinking a lot too, but it was fun. Sorry for. Well, sounds like you crushed. So he murdered. Time. It was so funny. We were all just like, "Oh my yeah, that, god!" They said we that was to... one of my best sets. Yeah, we did were you, thinking did you about tell like, the crowd you were on Molly. I don't know. No, I don't I think, don't I, think did. Maybe did. I did. I don't know. Kept no, it I didn't. A secret. It was. Awesome, I think it's dude. on film. They couldn't tell that you were just rubbing your nipples the entire time. <laughs> I was on. Yeah. So anyway, Jesus just touching yeah. your neck. No, he was crushing, just touching man. your neck and your nerves. Yeah, you... we're doing his farm jokes. No, no, he wasn't like he wasn't rolling like that. He was rolling like, do you guys like understand what I mean? Like saying things so like simply and just like everyone's like, dude, we get it. And he's like, but do you, man? Like this shit means something to me. Like at that basic level of emotion. Yeah, I think I probably had a like. Pro- there was probably like a, a nope. emotional breakdown yeah, like, up on stage, and I'd probably rat shit I've on seen the that place before. or something. No yeah. human with an ounce of empathy couldn't be hella empathetic in that moment because they were just like, "I get this guy." See? Just ultra relatable. Now I know what to put in his drink. Yeah, please, not Molly. Please, we I'd can't love handle that. that. Shit's my favorite. The the comedy community cannot handle Justin like that. He'll take everything over. <laughs> you think you, you see think what you, I mean? you think you got a lot of followers from that <laughs> Justin on Molly? Maybe that's what it, I mean. You know what? I've been trying to be a good boy on stage. Maybe I need to go nah. back to the roots. Go back see, to the roots. I remember Justin, bad go boy back Justin. To the roots. I remember drink, drink, drink. No, 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 no. That's what I would do, dude. I would be like, because open mics, I'd end up, I'd get there early to hang dude. out, and I'd have beers through the whole entire time. And like, last comic of the night, it's Justin S. I'm like, you just saw 50 other micers. Now here's Justin. And I'm like, oh, 19 what the Bud Lights. Fuck? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Just hate me. Bush you lights. suck. You suck. Fuck you. And I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, why am I not getting booked? No that one was, was there. I talked to chairs most of the time yeah you got to be drunk to talk to chairs i mean when you're talking to zero people at a, at a place yeah but if he was on molly he'd have made those chairs laugh i would have oh, the chairs would have had a good time i probably yeah. would have just took it i probably would have sat in a chair and talked to it and be like man this is crazy you know you just gotta how does it feel to be here and not be able to talk yeah your I whole mean, life and people just sit on you with their fat ass if you're on molly stinking. that's actually a really funny joke. If you're on molly you hump the stool but you finish can i have that joke can i take that did you say it, it's your story oh thanks Cool. What the fuck I got was a new that? joke. When are you fart? Hey, when you no, see. Did you fart? No, it smells like fart though. JJ? Did you smell the microphone? Justin? You no. know, my. Give Nobody, me your mustache right. too. My who must- farted? Mustache is doing Hey, welcome back to another game of Who Farted? <laughs> do you ever That's have this uh, thing? Man. We all have facial hair, right? So, do you ever think about just really? shaving it off to. 
Because like, when you smoke, like the the smoke and the stickiness gets stuck in that mustache. Yeah, yeah I think about just it. shaving it just to get rid of it. I shampoo it like it's a little. I do too. I shampoo it. I do. I shampoo it and it gets it so clean. And yeah, I do conditioner. Yeah. I, I don't even all... shampoo my own hair, but I shampoo my mustache. <laughs> That's fucking dumb as fuck. What? I'm sorry you don't understand it, Mister No Hair. You got to cut your hair. It's healthy. You I do got to cut my hair though. No, no, no. It's the it's the idea that he shampoos his mustache, but not his hair. It's was, too much it's hair. Up. Just I was, that uh, part. I was watching the last pod. And Justin looks so gray. But your mustache doesn't have a speck of gray hair in it. Things thick. Things shreddy. It actually <laughs> Maybe does, shampoo I, the hair then. No, no, I, I so, think you got to no, cut your hair so but it's it grows also, new hair because it's like that hair is still gray. Yeah. So when you shave it down, it just looks lighter. It's gone. But when it grows back, it's still gray. Maybe I'll do, I'll do touch of gray. Hey, I get whites hey, in my hey, mustache now. Touch? No, no, Justin. It's 1230 a.m. You're watching cable news. A commercial comes on. It's Justin. I used to look like this. But after mm. I used just for Justin, just for Justin. Now, just after I used just now, Justin, I look thirty years younger. It's just a sharpie. <laughs> just, just, just for Justin, yeah. yeah. It'll be one of those cheap ones, like just to put it on just in the morning. Draw it on, dude. Yeah. Have you ever seen? They had those products, like the yeah. guy, like the spray ones. You spray oh, yeah. a can, and it's just a person. It's like. <laughs> Like Marcus, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. It's like Marcus. He's like, I want a hair today, and he takes a spray can and he sprays it on, and then there's videos of it just like melting off. Creed, Creed's the best, Creed's the best one. Creed for the Office. Yeah, Creed. <laughs> That's so funny, uh, dude. Honestly, and if you don't like The Office, whatever. But like Creed might be the best character other than Kevin in the all of The Office. Creed is a great. It's Kevin's a awesome, fun, but Creed is he yeah. needed he needed more screen time, dude. He did. Also, dude, they barely used Patrice O'Neill in that. Patrice O'Neill was the funniest. He's, funny he's he so was, funny. Him and Michael they together were great. Yeah. yeah. Michael, we the ones who got to clean that up. <laughs> uh, that might have been Craig Robinson. But whatever. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. Oh, unethical life hacks. Yeah. Well, this was... Uh, so, Philip, so the hillbilly aliens, and now we're thinking of on alcohol. Why, but why are you scared of aliens? I missed that part. Oh, no, I just, I occasionally I get to a point in life where it's, it's like a season for me, where I just, like, I, I listen to... It's a season? Like to, Shark Week? Yeah. It's Alien Week for... <laughs> shark it's al- Alien Month? It's like alien, <laughs> probably more like Alien Quarter, dude. It's tough. <laughs> He's just wearing foil hats and shit. Three yeah. foil hats. <laughs> Straight up, I'm, like, walking the doors at night, surveilling the you property. You should do more. that anyway. I don't know, man. I like I, I hear like a podcast or something about aliens. I'm like, God, these things exist, bro. I think they do. And then do, I'm but up where, at night thinking about them. I'm like, where are they hiding? Right in front of us. Do you think they're in the? Marcus is the. Marcus alien? Is an I'm alien? an alien. I could see him unzipping his skin at night, Marcus. just breathing. But it's that little guy in Men in Black. It's just the little control. <laughs> it's just a little guy, the little alien right here. He's just sitting yeah. on a pad controlling him. No, no. and he's smoking a joint too, and he's. Just, <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm all right, and that's Marcus is. That's why Marcus is the way he is. It's just a drunk little alien up yeah, there. Going, dude, <laughs> hey, he has two joints. I, uh, 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 fuck you, dude. Uh, fuck you, dude. That's why you're scared of that, dude. I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna come and hang out playing CW twenty five. And that's why if you're an alien. You're locking the fucking door, if you're dude. You're an alien. Justin, Justin's an alien. For what sure. alien am I though? I want to know. What am I? You got the dome for being an alien, Yo, bro. You people, got, people want me to I shave my head. You, you got a planetary you, head, bro. If you dig into my chin, there's a zipper down here. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm. Oh, I have a dip chin too. I got a butt chin too. Ass chin. Oh, Justin goes bottom to top, though. He goes, mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to be the sure. juiced alien, though. I don't want to be the fat one down there. <laughs> That's a gray man, dude. Yeah, dude, and I just got like five aliens inside my head, and they don't know what's going on. They're just running around drinking coffee, yeah, excited. But... I don't know what's going on, and that's how I'm running. Why do I have this schlong, though? That alien doesn't have a dick. Oh yeah, that looks like my alien right there. That or, <laughs> is my is my penis. Yeah, that's that's Marcus's alien right there, but he's smoking a drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, this shit creeps me out, dude. That's Phil. Yeah, I, I don't sugar, like this water, shit. Sugar, Phil, that's you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm a roach man. Philip, you don't seem so right today. Sugar, more sugar in the water. No. Need cell phone. That Need guy's, that social guy's phone. media. That cell scares phone scares me. Must scroll. Cell phone. What did you say? We embarrass you? No, I said that guy scares me. He does. He's great. Okay, that's and... why you're scared of aliens. I got you. All right. Aliens are terrifying, man. Why do y'all think I'm an alien? Because, I mean, mean, you're German. Say something nice. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Where'd you come from? You came from a place we've never been. We don't know if it's real. (laughs) Boom. 
Boom. <laughs> I've only been here in America. Yeah. We don't know if it's real. Well, I've been actually starting to think that shit. I've been I've been seeing so much stuff on the internet. Like I'm like. We because, haven't been dude, outside of anywhere. And it's like, but Justin think of this. doesn't believe in foreign countries. He doesn't Wait, think foreign countries. Listen to this, though. But think of this is why I think it. Right. Go with me on this. Okay, right. You get into a plane, right? You get into a plane. Are you about to up. flat earth us, dude? Are you about to flat earth us? I'm not about to flat earth. Let him cook. Let me cook for a little bit. Let me see that vape. Okay. I can't do this. You get in nicotine. The, all right, Jesus you get in the plane, Christ. right? You take off. They're like, all right. All right thank okay. you. Uh, we're leaving. We're leaving Detroit now. Oh, Weather is 30 degrees, right? And then you leave, and they go, pew. And you get in the clouds, right? Like, we're landing in somewhere else. The weather is 60 degrees. And you land on another runway, and then you wake up in another city that looks just like the city you came from. They have the same coffee places, the same pizza places, the same franchises everywhere. You need to you do need, mushrooms. Yeah, we need, to, we need to do. That's not what I'm not. You I'm need not to believe, do mushrooms in Amsterdam. I'm because not you'll believing be like, that. Oh, it is I'm not, flat. I'm not saying that's the truth. I'm just saying it's kind of, it could be. Because you only go to Detroit, Austin, and L.A. That's you're talking, true. You're talking about, like, the Truman Show theory here. Yes. Okay. It's like a Truman Show theory. Like, I'm just saying, like... Hey, buddy, what if, I'm telling you... It's not huh? the Truman Show. It's not the Truman Show? <laughs> no. How do you know? Because I... I cause Where I have you been? They haven't updated me on a script in a while. Also, there was a video I saw of uh, people asking pilots, is it flat? And they said, yeah. So what now? <laughs> Dude, Justin is a nightmare online, dude. You show him a oh, video. I don't he's know convinced. what to believe anymore. Anytime. That's because there's so much. Hey, there's AI. You got <laughs> Biden hands. dying, not buying. You got Kamala Harris being a first woman president. That Justin's hands up was so funny. <laughs> That's also, the thumbnail. You know Justin's about to lose it if Justin starts a story with, I was on the internet the other day. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I plugged into the modem. Um, I plugged into oh, the yeah. dial up and went. Ee, ee, ee. No, that, was, said, that was just you laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Echo of your laughter throughout the house. Dude, you can't say shit like that when I'm about to drink water. That was fucking almost bullshit, dude. <laughs> Justin's that was the funniest like thing I've heard in a minute, yeah. dude. Well, funniest... Justin's laugh is a modem. Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> Next time he laughs, just be like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, is someone trying to look up porn again? No, that's yeah. Justin laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Man, I thought I was about to see some tits. Nope, just an idiot. Just an idiot. <laughs> so just, I mean, I think the I'm Earth sorry, is that flat. Was, that was mean. Fuck. I was gonna. I, I felt bad. I called you an idiot, and I was gonna try to say something nice, and you talked over me to talk about flat Earth again. So I can't. You can't help yourself. You're an idiot. How am I an idiot? You're talking about flat fucking Earth, dude. Have you ever been the, in space? Have you ever been outside of like the time zones of America? Of America? Well, the they're all the same three, time zones. There's four, but so I've been to all the you time can zones. go to the oasis so I've been here to all in the Austin time zones. and see the curvature of the Earth. You can go up to one of these buildings and see the curvature of the Earth. You can see the curvature? Yes. All right, you guys need to show this to me because I haven't seen it. Next week's episode, Have you ever uh, seen a globe? we show Justin. I've seen a globe. You've seen it? <laughs> yeah. And what do you what's, think what's his counterpoint? You've seen a map? <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs> looks pretty flat to me, dude. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh yeah. the globe. Oh, I can take, I can Look put a... Look at that. How is that building standing without falling over if it's not flat? What? Oh, Justin. They level the ground when they build something. They do? Yes. You can do that? Yes, no matter where no, they build it. No, you can't, it. actually. It's impossible to level anything. Why aren't we falling over right now, right. Justin? Is it because this couch is flat? This is a flat couch theory? You ever, you ever, uh, you ever sit on a uh, bouncy ball like one of those medicine, uh, yeah. the yoga balls? <laughs> you ever sat on your balls? Yeah, I have sat on my balls too many of times. It hurts. Do you, you have know. a flat cock? I well, no. flat, not fat, flat. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, never mind. Sometimes it's cold. Never mind. Jesus never mind. Christ. Dude. Never mind. No, it's gonna be at any earth. You really about believe any in earth? flat earth, dude? I don't believe in flat earth. I was just talking about it. I really don't know what to believe. I just want to go into a spaceship and see it. I just so want to go outside. Hey. I just want to go up into the stars. What you you, gonna, you want to go in a spaceship? Hand me that thing. What are you going to do if you get up there and it's flat? <laughs> I'm going to shit a brick and I'm going to go, told you! I fucking told you! And then you're going to you're gonna be the guy who comes back and convinces everybody? Yes, and then I'm going to get shot in the ear. <laughs> Call back. You're going to get shot in the ear? Do y'all think it was real? At what part? The ear or the shooting? Getting shot. Or the space? Trump getting shot? 
Trump getting shot. He Are got they saying shot. It's not real? Let's let's see his ear after. He he. Okay. So I gave him stem cells. They just put a new ear on. They just replaced him. They got a clone of Trump in the basement. I want to know. Oh, come on. Go back up. See that dumbass lady with the thing supporting? Go down, 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 down. That lady right there. Who is that lady? No, can you do me a favor Ew. and look up the quote from Revelations? <laughs> yeah, look. At, just type in Revelations after that. It'll probably pop up. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, man, I was at your mom's house when this happened, bro. That shit was crazy because your mom gets a phone call and she's like, Trump's been shot. And I'm sitting there with your little brother and your mom thinking Trump got Trump's dead. And then we look it up on Twitter and and we see the video and he's just like, and he just gets, you know, he does the, and the whole time, and I got to go. I got like 20 minutes. I got to get to the show. And, but I don't know any of the information. <laughs> I just fucking, I think Trump's dead, but the video says he's not dead. Fox News is saying one thing. X is saying a different thing, man. All I know is, dude, the whole thing is a fucking... It's so awesome because there's so much footage. Imagine if there was this much footage of Kennedy, dude. Oh, man, he would have been found immediately. He, they didn't even build buildings that tall. Well, actually, this kid was on a fucking farm, so a, a <laughs> barn. He was on top of a barn roof. <laughs> and then the crazy thing is all of all He's of on top Trump's, of a one-story of, building. <laughs> everybody on, on Hillbilly of- Mushrooms was there at the rally today. And then they were like, there's somebody on the roof. And they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the crazy thing is how many people are like, he's on the roof. I watched a video yesterday, a nine-minute modern Zabruder video or whatever the fuck. And it's just a guy running around the building. There's cops everywhere. He's there for like an hour. Can I also say I saw another video before you play this? There was somebody saying mm-hmm. that there was a second shooter on top of another building far away. Like a glimpse of something during it. I don't know if that Could have been, man. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. Yeah, I saw this. Right there. Yeah, so it's there's so this crazy. one. There's right this there. video yeah. of them being like, right oh, there's yeah, you know, a guy down. on the roof. This is the classic. This is the Zabruder film, basically. Yeah. 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 What's happening? Yeah. Oh, this was a lot. This was lame. Yeah, look. There he is. <laughs> this is, this yeah. is a lame ass video. Yeah. Then there's yeah, somebody. No re- not enough retention on this Trump shooting video. Also, did you see if you watch the should clip it up? <laughs> did you see like um during the the, the shot and the uh, camera shot of Trump? Yeah. If you look at the crowd, the people's reactions, it's kind of crazy. There's people like cheering, going like woo, and then there's other people being like scared. But there's people cheering and like jumping to be on camera in the shot. It's crazy. It's yeah, weird. man. Well, people aren't running for their lives, is what I'm saying. Nobody. Well, I, I think everyone hit the ground. No. No. People were people drinking their beer up. and stood up. They, people they, literally. They're stood looking around up, like, dude. "Hey, I brought my gun today. I was, I brought it for a reason." Nobody brought a gun in there. They had security. But it is funny because. Well, hey, why didn't you use the gun and shoot the person? Now Trump is like, he's like talking about, it. he's like, nobody ran. Like, he's like proud of the fact that nobody ran or anything. <laughs> he's like, my people, you're so brave. What do you, what do you, incredible th- people. Well, how do you think Kamala would have handled that? Well, if Biden would have done it, he would have heard the gunshot, gunshot and his heart would have stopped. Huh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> the fall, <laughs> the fall, the heat would have. What's going on with you over there? Philip's face has been. Out of it. What's wrong with you today? Right now, I mean, What's wrong with you I'm in right the now? present. I'm in the present. <laughs> I just, I think he definitely got shot. I think the guy was a lone wolf. There was a huge fuck up by the Secret Service. I've been listening to a lot of Dan Bongino. I just don't understand with, especially with the technology <laughs> we have with everything we do. They couldn't spot this one kid on a right, barn in right. the sea of everybody. They All did these spot him. Watched, no, so no. they did spot him. So if, if you spotted him and you saw he had a gun, he okay. should have been dead on spot. So here's, How did here's you, not, the, okay. you had to wait for him to shoot? Do you want me to tell you? Yes. So the local police had identified him as suspicious over an hour before the shooting. Well, I was at the donut shop, and I saw a kid with a gun. Yeah, there's a skinny kid at a donut shop. That doesn't make any sense. Is he that what scary. happened? Yeah, I know he wasn't at a donut shop. That's uh-huh. funny, though. I was talking about the cops being at the donut shop. And that's funny. So I, yeah. yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Uh, but no, there's just the uh, because they had like they had Secret Service, SWAT, they had local police, ever a bunch of people there for the event, and the local police had identified this kid like, hey, there's like a weird kid walking around, blah blah blah, like an hour before, and then they lose sight of him, and then they find him again, and he's like on the fucking roof, and they never like notified Secret Service or they tried to, and it, 
It was basically a bad game of telephone. No, but it also sounds like it's a bad, it's a game of like, we don't want to know he's there because it's all part of the plan. Well, I think that's my conspiracy is that they let it happen. The way the, the video kind of like a Pearl Harbor situation, yeah. you know. Why would they the, let that happen? Because they want to get rid of Trump. Yeah. Who? The government. The, the, yeah. The the deep they want state. All parties involved there. You yeah. think the deep I, state hates Trump? Yeah, and I think they want Kamala the in state. because she's pushing all a new agenda while they do other dumb shit. And the Earth is flat. And the Earth is flat. No, yeah. it is round. Or do you think it's all just a like a sheer outcome of human ignorance? Stacked up over the course of two hundred yeah, plus when, years. I, I think I think uh, at some level, the ignorance was allowed to persist. There was. Do you know that the the I don't know if CIA or FBI or whoever there was a known credible threat on Donald Trump's life from Iran before this happened. Mm -hmm. So that everyone was security. aware of. So secur security should have been. They should have been yeah. beefed up, and, and then it was a kid who's not even Iranian. So it's just like a psycho kid who happens to. And there's psychos all over the country all the time who are, like, Googling shit like this. But I just don't see, like... He's not the only one. I just want to know how that kid Sorry. and why that kid would want... I just don't understand. None of that was funny. Thank you for making it funny, Justin. I just... He, yeah. Yeah, they, that's what they, I do. They tried to shoot him. You're welcome. That's what I, yeah. I know. You're no, doing. but I'm just saying, it's it. that is crazy. Also, if the cop saw someone su suspicious, he's in your city. You're a cop. You're a public defender. You could have been like, uh, uh, hey, uh... Can we talk for a second? Where are you going with the rifle in the middle of the fucking day on the sidewalk, son? He wasn't walking around with the rifle. That's what's really suspicious right now. Oh, so what was he doing? Where was he? People think he was already on the roof. You know the crazy thing? He was flying a drone around there like two hours before the event. Yeah, that's not suspicious. If you're Secret Service, I feel like this is something they should have seen. Did he leave a manifesto or anything? No, I, not that we know of yet, but the, the drone thing's crazy because he's flying it above and nobody fucking even clocks it. I think the problem is, is Justin's assuming cops are competent. Yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah, I'm just assuming that, like, you know, people would try. Yeah. No, what's crazy Nobody is how anymore, incompetent the Secret Service is. That's what I'm saying. I watched yeah, the, the video Service. and it just, none of it made sense because... Well, the roof was slow. From everything I've ever... Oh, that, okay. <laughs> It was from everything, slow. everything I've ever heard yeah. or seen about the Secret Service. It, it, it's like that shouldn't have even been a quick. It should have been like that. Oh, the whole rally should have been finished by some Secret me, Service going to cut does, the guy's throat on top of the barn. That's what I thought you guys would have yeah. done. It does make Trump like uh, it. it makes spy movies look like illegitimate because you're like you would think that they'd be like yeah we're picking this up on the chatter right now. Yeah. Like, there's none of that happening. There's not like a nerdy. There's not like three nerdy dudes in a truck. Yeah, but you got all different you got a hundred hillbillies going. Great <laughs> you got a hundred hillbillies going. There's somebody on the roof and they're. Yo, okay. the, yo, the movie from this is gonna be sick. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, dude, depends yeah, Hulk who makes Hogan's it. It depends be there. who makes it. Hulk Hogan's gonna be there. <laughs> it's Hulk gonna Hogan. be made by Ben Shapiro. You're right. Hulk hey, that Hogan's means we could be in, in it, maybe. <laughs> the three of us could be in it. We could be guy. We could be white guys one, two, and three at the rally. There's motherfucker on the goddamn roof up there. We should do that. Yeah. We should manifest that. I'm in an Eagles jersey. We're going to be in that movie. I'm in We're a fucking Eagles jersey. Today. Or no, this is like Pittsburgh area, right? I'm in a Heinz Ward jersey. I'm in a... No, I'm in a Ben Roethlisberger I'm, jersey. I'm wearing my merch. I'm wearing my own merch. It might be a movie buy. one day. I think if he wins, we'll have like North Korean propaganda styled for it. It'll be like, yeah. a, it'll be like a hero movie. Yeah. Like a, and we'll be in it. He's gonna so win. watch out for that. Hey, watch when he wins the presidency. When he wins the president, he's like, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make my movie because that's all that's important. I like he's De Niro now. Yeah. Hey, what's hey, doing, Trump? You, you talk. You shooting at me? <laughs> you shooting at, at me? me? That's who plays Trump. It's, De it's De Niro. Robert De Niro. Yeah. That's great. We make, we make him play it because yeah. now so, it's a fascist <laughs> dictatorship hey, with Trump, and yeah. then we make and then Robert we get, De Niro. We get, hey, we get Woody hey. Allen to play Biden. Yes. Yeah, Woody Allen's Biden. Who's Hunter Biden? You're Hunter Biden. Yes. Yo, Justin's I'll do all Hunter the Biden, dude. Hey, Justin's, Dad. Hey, hey, Dad, are hey, we going to the rally? Give me that crack pen again. Can I be dude. one of the prostitutes? Nah. Oh, okay. Sorry. That would be amazing. We're, if you were we're, a looking, we're looking for someone with a lot less teeth. You know what I mean? For it to play. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen these? Ads? Okay, I'll be the guy who sells Sorry, the coke women. in the White House. Yeah. I'll that's, drop a. That's, that's a cool scene. This is That's a cool scene. Banana boats are coming. This is the same Secret Service that found cocaine in the White House and was like, we don't know. How Wait, did that the thing? <laughs> and, and, they and, found cocaine in the White House? And I Yes, and I'm paranoid about trying to bring weed on a plane, which I don't do because I'm paranoid about yeah, it. And, and you get, this motherfucker leaves coke in the White House and they can't yeah. even figure it out. I'm telling you, it says a lot. Like, you watch the movie Get Smart, you watch, like, Mission Impossible, yeah. you're like, 
there none of that's happening. There's like there's no guy who's like, hey man, check out this new gadget that we just made. It's Dude, gonna save the yeah. president's life. They're just like the roof was sloped. Yeah, I mean at like, this what? point, y'all got X-ray vision. I think all their earpieces. Haven't pieces, you seen man, the movie Wanted? You don't they, have like they a, hook the bullet, you curve the bullet, you like a special do that with magnet the gun. That, that can movie? pick that's up wanted. on guns. I don't know, man. I will say, it, yeah, that's a little weird. What's a little weird? And he's such a, it's such an amateur situation. You know it's an amateur situation because the kid's like a kid. Yeah. So it's like, there's no, it's not like he's brilliant. Apparently he pawned his bike <laughs> off to someone right right afterwards. Andrew Callahan actually interviewed a guy uh, after the, in the aftermath. And he was talking to this homeless dude. And he was like, yeah, some guy gave me this bike. And then, and then uh, like three days later, you know, they, they, t- they put a picture of his bike being abandoned. And then Andrew Callahan like puts the next, he's like, holy shit. This guy had his That's bike. Weird, yeah. Yeah, we're living the through history of, right the now. The day of, he got that guy on camera with yeah. his bike. Wow. So it's like, it's very strange, man. Like you're saying, it's the Zabruder film or whatever. Zabruder film or yeah. something. It's, yeah, you find a lot of people uh, easy when it's flat. Well, it's you strange know? because the dynamic, <laughs> here's what's crazy. If he was killed, I don't think you could even argue that the dynamic would have went the way of the people that wanted him dead. And then I think that now with the situation, it's caused it to be a massive shit show. Oh yeah, like yeah. it's. But uh, it is weird that like the Democrats are pulling ahead now. No. Afterwards, because you think that that would allow them, to, like you're saying, like we've talked about when it happened, like oh this is gonna get them, this is gonna get them elected because people are gonna be able to be like what a, like that's a champion notion. Yeah. And oh, but what happens. did the Democrats do? The old bait and switch. Huh? I th- some it, it it does it smells fishy, but like I said, that's, it? I I'd like to just blame it all on the idea that human ignorance yeah. is just in mass effect. The average human detention span is about eight point two five seconds. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think which is you, a decrease you, of almost twenty five percent from two thousand two thousand fifteen. This is less than the attention span of a goldfish, which is around nine seconds. Holy shit! Wait, what'd you say? What? It decreased twenty five percent from two thousand to twenty fifteen. Hey, good job, government. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. Thanks, this. thanks, Facebook. Thanks. You guys wanted this. Thanks, COVID. We're in our phones. Thanks, everything. I think the what? Are, what do you guys want to? What do you guys just tell? Just come on the news and just tell us the actual plan. Just give us. Just tell the us. aliens are running the government, bro. Then they don't like Trump. They try I to shoot him. I want to meet the aliens. Yo, pull up the shooter. Pull up the shooter and pull up an alien. Like pull an up alien. Eisenhower making a deal with the aliens back in the fifties, bro. That's what's really important. The Hoover Dam. Aliens. Yeah, that's alien shit. Blue whales. We don't aliens. need. What do we need that water up there for? Hey, but seriously though, Las yeah. Vegas. So. Yeah, we're drinking that what water. What do we need Las Vegas for? So the aliens can see, oh, there's the lights. So that we can get flight logs that are interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so that there can be another shooting that makes no sense at all. Yo, bro. I oh, think dude, we, this might, one's getting taken down. This one is getting taken down. That kid did That kid did look like an alien, though. <laughs> yeah, not, I don't believe true. it. This is all fiction. Yeah, I Good? mean. Better? All right. Yeah, it's all f- Fucking, it's all, it's, it's all it's entertainment. Every, I I believe exactly what the government tells me. Yeah, <laughs> every guys, time. Yeah, the government it. tells me through TurboTax that I owe this much in taxes. I don't even argue with them. I just say take it. And you know what's crazy? I was thinking I already paid some taxes while during the year work year. And so I'm and I'm why voting do I owe uh, more taxes. I'm voting for Kamala Harris. And voting here for and I stand with Israel. Hmm. I stand by. I, well, I've said that before. <laughs> Speaking of unethical life hacks, <laughs> standing with Israel, standing with, his, standing with Israel, unethical life hacks. Yeah. Is that unethical to stand by them? Depends who you ask. It's it's not yeah, our it's no. not our it's not our issue. Yeah, it's not our issue. Hey, That's you know a, who's gonna take care of it? Biden. He will give I'm him taking, some money. I'm no, taking what no, the no. actual American response to the situation should be. It's not our issue. Yeah, but. It is an issue. It's a, it is an issue. It is an okay, issue. Okay, but okay. And, and you were talking to Phil earlier. You got a parking ticket the second you got here. Yeah, I got a parking ticket in ten minutes. Yeah. Here today. Yes, that's crazy. What? But it's okay because I have a new solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what uh, is it? Bring, because we're talking about unethical life hacks now. We have a couple up there, but yeah. uh, this one specifically is: if you get a parking ticket here, I've I've I just take it off of my car. And then I look around for like a Honda or like a Hyundai that's like a similar name or like make. And then I go and I put it on that one. And then I let them handle it. Uh-huh. And it so far, 
<laughs> so good. They, there's no way they got your license plate number. No, they did. But if, they, if they call them and they it. say, this is not my... Yeah, but you don't think they're, they're like, going to oh, be like, fine. oh, no, it was probably this car that got it there. And it's also probably in their computer no. system because they type it on a computer, Phil. Okay, let me hear. They type it on a computer. How much? It goes you, in the computer. How much do you like your job? Uh, love it. Yeah, but you don't think they make that Where idiot proof? I really think that if they call me, they go, no, I think they put the wrong ticket on the wrong car, and they go, they probably just dismissed that ticket. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Probably yeah. not. Or, yeah. or, or, wait, y'all hear that? Or a knock knock, <laughs> a knock at the door. Hello, this Fuck. is this is the government. Are you Philip Garcia? No. Look, if the cops ever knock on my door, I'm gonna say, "Take I'm serving time for those tickets. You're never getting a penny out of me. Never take me away." You would go to jail over parking tickets over just paying. No, I'm joking. Really, what you can do is you literally just call the court office, or you can go. They have like a movie so theater ticket buckets, and you just go up there and you say, "I want to contest this ticket." And the parking meter maids are always out, like from noon to four. So you just go. And they, they're never there. You don't pay them. They, you can test them. They dismiss them. Wow. Because, like, in that situation, Wait, what? I went back out to my car. I could be like, yo, in 10 minutes, they wrote me a ticket. I was, I was in participating in commerce on the street. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but you're supposed to pay for the parking, too. For 15 minutes, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm having a moral conversation, an ethics conversation through a window with a lady who can turn me off. Oh, keep, keep me on. Keep me on. You know what? I want to speak to your what manager. Do you wanna, and it's what just you, the sir, chief of what police. Did you, what did you want to say? Chief of police. Listen, man, you're just, you're fucking, you're harsh in my vibe, man. My mellow is all fucked up over this parking well, well, ticket. Son. Yo, well, I hate son. Well, son, I'm just telling the, you, the we need, Austin we need chief of you to pay that so we could pay our parking. That's not how the, the Austin chief of police would be like, yeah, man, no, I totally hear you, dude. Yeah. We are so wrapped up with this murderer thing. There's like a killer going on. Look, dude, we're busy putting that under the wraps right now. We got... Your parking ticket's cool, but you mean these homeless people stabbing each other? Shit, dude, I can't t- park ticket. You know what, man? Here's a, dude. Here's a free Sunday from Amy's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great legal system. And you know it's what? Like, oh, did we fuck you Just over? Just ice cream. You're free a deputy cream. now, little buddy. I get a little sticker. Oh, dude, cop Phil. Cop Phil. Cop Phil. Cop Phil would be a cool Phil. Us cops. As high as. <laughs> Imagine us knocking on the door and Marcus is like, has his hands on his hips. He's like. Like sniffing around or whatever, <laughs> and I'm the only serious one. And Justin's like, or Justin's like leaning on the door. <laughs> Dude, cop Phil, man, have you ever seen a cop be late to pulling someone over? <laughs> I've been pulled over for ten minutes. Look, Where you like, been? Oh, I was looking at the stories no, on Instagram, and like, I had to fucking. I was like, I figured I, you know, and I, he comes up to the car, he goes, "Wait, why did I pull, I pull you over?" over? <laughs> he, no, he goes, like "Do you know why I pulled you over?" I was like, Wait, what was it again? They're like, Seriously. no officer. It's like, no, I'm asking, do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Is that why they ask us? That's for an admission Maybe of guilt, that's right? Fun. Yeah, that's... I don't know why they do oh, that. Oh, it's admission that's of guilt. It's, it's to get you an admission of guilt immediately. Do you yes. know why I pulled you over? Is it the bag of cocaine in my trunk? <laughs> is it because it smells like it is, rotting you're bodies? you're good. If it's the cocaine in the trunk, you're good, sir. Like, how did you know? Is it the blood on my hood? Was it the white BMW? Oh, one second. Let me take my hand off this gun. <laughs> Dude, imagine fucking with a cop like that. You just get shot. Never. But you're I, a comedic so, legend. I fucking lights on, lights on, hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Good evening, officer. You put your phone down for that? <laughs> Look at me in the eyes, boy. <laughs> just like side eye him. This is this Phil getting pulled over. Eh, no English. Eh. <laughs> no, I, Felipe. I'm always pretty good. Pretty bueno. Pretty good. Do you talk yourself out of tickets? I bet you can. I have. See, I knew it. He's such a best, talker. Best, Alan Jackson, actually, we talked about him earlier. He got me out of a speeding ticket one time. Why? Crazy. Wow. I was Alan going, Jackson. getting on the highway in Huntsville, going back home to DFW. It's 45. That's like the name of the highway. It's like 75 miles per hour off the jump. So I'm fucking burning down the entrance ramp. Yeah. He pulls me over. He's like, yo, it's 50 on the entrance ramp. And he's like, where are you going? And he's like, he's like, where are you coming from? Is what he asked me. I said, where, where I come from? It's cornbread and chicken. He's you like, said that? Yeah. He said, a lot of front porch sitting. I said, where I come from. <laughs> and then we was like, he's like, man, that's what I needed to hear today. He's like, I feel like I love Alan Jackson, basically. And he's like, well, he's like, slow down, get home safe. Yeah, I got pulled over in Detroit Good job. one time. Yeah. Good that was, job, that was Phil. Sly. That was slick. Yeah. I got pulled over in Detroit, and the guy was like, uh, he asked me what's going on. And I said, my palms are sweaty. He's like, your knees are weak. I'm like, yeah, my arms are. <laughs> and he goes, is that vomit on your sweater already? I, go, I looked at him. I go, oh, and he said, spaghetti. Get the fuck out of the car. There's narcotics <laughs> in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you probably hit your fucking wife. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah, yeah I, hey, went to jail. I went to jail. Then. Hey, and then I got 
Uh, yes. It was sick, dude. That's I got sick. to jail. I started rap battling, man. Next thing you know, I'm working at the fucking steel plant. Sick. <laughs> started calling him Marcus Cipher Sounds. Yeah, Love it. it's crazy, dude. And then you, and then you became a rap star. No. Two, hey, two when dudes. I got pulled over in Detroit, I uh. You got a DUI. Yeah, thank you. Two dudes, uh, two dudes smoking weed here got me off on my moped about a couple months ago. I was getting pulled over, plates were out, no license, no endorsement to ride the moped, no helmet on, and uh, failed to use a blinker. He was sitting there about to write me the hell up, and he goes, "Do you smell weed?" I go, "No, I smell paint," because there was a homeless person painting in the alleyway. And then he turns, we turn around, and he like starts looking. I'm like, "Oh fuck!" He looks back. There's two dudes hotboxing in their car, window slightly cracked, looking at us looking at them now. <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's high. It's like you and Marcus. Like, and he goes, one second, man. <laughs> and he goes over there. He goes, you know, he's, I hear him like, you know how fucking disrespectful it is. I'm sitting here in the middle of the floor and you don't have the, the courtesy. He's like, and he comes back and he's like, I'm going to have to deal with this. You're getting a ticket for your registration. I'm not even giving you an expiration. You just need to get it renewed and they'll forget the ticket. And I was like, thanks, man. He's like, get to work, take it home and don't ride that thing again until he's you have like it registered. Cop? Yeah. A wow. state trooper, bro. Whoa. Whoa! A Texas state trooper. I've never not Scary. gotten just like the the docket when they find something like that. So that's Holy, crazy. That's terrifying. I don't know what happened to those two dudes though. <laughs> and you never. That was like Jurassic <laughs> Park shit, where it's like, oh shit, now the T Rex is looking at something else. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Good reference. Thank you. I understood exactly what you meant. It's totally expected though. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I understood. He, I, that was scared. To can I him. can I tell my similar story with my our other friend Justin Haig? Oh, shout yeah. out. Me and him are in Chicago doing comedy, and we're fucking smoking pot in the car outside the Airbnb. <laughs> with and all of a sudden, dude, we get this weird feeling, man, because we're like in the suburbs. We're not in Chicago, so we're like in the northern. I think Evanston, yeah. and we're just sitting in the car, and all of a sudden we get this weird feeling. We're like, fuck, and we see a car coming. We're like, oh shit, we like lean back and stuff. And like hold our breath and everything. It's a cop driving slow as fuck, just like a shark through the water, man. <laughs> and we're just like, we're like literally holding our breath. And he had hit the blunt and was like holding it for like 30 seconds, waiting for them to pass. And they did. And we're like, how do they not fucking see us right now? Like, it was the scariest fucking shit ever. It was like, don't move from Jurassic Park mixed with we're gonna need a bigger blunt from fucking Jaws. And he Exhale, and that, we're like, that, why did I get out of the car that after that? We well, we finished the blunt, and then we left, and then we were like, we isn't were it legal scared. in Michigan? This was Chicago, and then at that point, it was not Illinois. This was back when it was illegal in Illinois. Yeah. It is now legal in Illinois, but this is when it wasn't. Huh. I think it was like a le it's legal this year, right? No, twenty twenty, I think they or twenty nineteen. Hey, when are you going to make it legal? Never. Never. And build the wall first, then we legalize. Hey, you, you keep talking like that, so we're going to take a uh, liquor away on Saturdays too, huh? Yeah, what's the liquor law in Texas? You actually, can't, I don't. You I don't can't buy it on Sunday, the Lord's Day. Can, Philip, can or you as a, as a recovering alcoholic? And by the way, this is going to come out. When does this come out? Monday. What day is that? Monday. August fourth or fifth? August seventh is my sober date. So this is this is like my four year off the sauce, dude. Yeah, in I wish I years. cared, Marcus. Okay, fuck Good. you. So what are the alcohol laws in Texas, Phil? So our retard alcoholic joke. friend can make sure to buy his booze no. when he's tripping mushrooms. I'll buy yeah. you some non-alcoholic beer. You Thanks. can buy Thanks. you can buy Thanks. beer on Sundays though, right? Yeah. Beer, beer and wine all yeah. the time up until midnight, and then. Seriously. Uh, but seriously, up until midnight. Yeah, most places will on Sunday probably won't sell it to you though after like nine. But no liquor after nine in general. No. Oh liquor yeah, on we Sundays. tried to buy beer after nine. And they but didn't. bars are open seven days a week. Two, that, two yeah, that's another thing. I don't know if it was to drive business to bars or. Rah, rah, the bars, the, there's like bar associations that protect. I've, after dealing with it, <laughs> there's there's bar associations who protect bars like business. So like, there's the like the mafia of bars. Yeah, you know how there's what was it called being when dry when the government decides to go dry essentially. Mm. Dry. Yeah, but there's like an equal opposition of like lobbyists that yeah, want the bars to stay open. Wet. Right. Like Wisconsin's drinking and driving laws are so laxed because y'all are from up there. Like all you can do is straight up like for six Drink. months of the year. We have, we have to drink. drink to stay to wa yeah. stay warm. Half so they the year. protect this constituents from like harsher penalties because they understand it's like all there is to do. Well, you know what's crazy <laughs> in Michigan? You. So here you have all these laws. In Michigan, yeah. you can buy liquor at a gas station at two a.m. on a Sunday. That's a problem. Yeah. No, it's not. 
<laughs> it's a problem. Yeah, yeah it, it is, is, bro. You're a problem. You go to a gas station at one fifty nine. That's just. I'm, I'm saying it's. That's it's way not a problem. too accessible. I'm calling that's freedom. <laughs> that's called freedom. It's freedom. Dude. Is that behind it's, the counter? Huh? Is that behind the counter? The liquor? Yeah. Uh, it depends if you're in the hood or not. Hey, now say this though, but Philip, everybody has a different lifestyle and different schedules. Sometimes, like you get off of work at one in the morning, you want a beer after. Yeah, it's like if you're working the third shift at the plant. Yeah, dude, I want. And you get off. Beer. It's like, yeah, I want. Don't look at me, because I would have people at CBS. They'd come in, and I'd be like, they're buying a twelve pack at seven a.m. Like, what? They're just getting off work. Yeah, but yeah. being the accessibility is the issue. You can. Who get, are you? Yeah, what is this? I don't know. I don't think I'd want. My kids to grow up in a place where there what was kids? like. Have you been in Austin? Have if you seen I had the homeless children, community? I wouldn't want them to, to be around. It, but liquor drives in a different clientele base than beer and wine. It's like a whole thing. Yeah, I do agree with that. I, I agree with so that. It's the reason that they put dispensaries on the outside of town, even though I don't really agree with that. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? Because dispensaries don't drive in like, dude. Li- people who buy liquor, like, <laughs> there's like I, I don't know what percentage of liquor might are be like American? vagrants. I don't know. They are, they're a little yeah. bit more hostile, yeah. probably. Yeah. Do, like, if I take my daughter into the gas station to get candy, do I want a guy getting off the plant who already drank through his shift to be picking up another, like, and see Or what if he's not already drinking? You're judging a lot of why people Why are you right taking now. your daughter to a convenience store? Yeah, and store? also, why are you taking your daughter to the I don't know, maybe we're getting gas, and she wants to go in and get candy. Oh, or is your daughter like getting gas or my in the son. It could be, I don't know. I think the accessibility to alcohol is an issue. Like, you just don't, you can't put everywhere. You can't have milk and honey everywhere. Then everyone gets fat and fucked up. Welcome to America. There's fucking McDonald's on every corner. Yeah. What are you talking about? Same Milk thing. and honey. Yeah. Milk and honey would be better agree. than having I McDonald's, Taco Bell, P. Terry's, I don't Burger agree with King. that. I think that's an issue too. What'd you eat last night? Uh, we ordered pizza. <laughs> My how, fucking how, point. How many nights a week do you eat pizza, Phil? Then well, be honest with me. One night a week, probably. Don't lie to me like you just got a DUI. Actually, last night, uh, like, last week I had about one Little Caesars week. twice. I wanted it so bad. I was craving it. I want it now. You know what's fucked up? I ordered Little Caesars the other night for delivery. They sent two different drivers they over there, and then they canceled my order. Why are y'all not? Why are y'all, ordering, why are y'all ordering? Why are y'all ordering Little Caesars? Because it's home. Out home. It's home. It, it was good. It was home. I had literally <laughs> just landed from Michigan. Makes me happy. Land. I had been in Texas for four hours, so and I was sentimental. like, what I, I want some Little Caesars, dude. But they wouldn't deliver it, so we got Jets instead, which is better anyway. Oh, Way Jets better. Now I'm going to get it Jets. It depends what mood you're in. Come on, baby. It depends what mood you're in. We should get Jets. I would love Jets. We should do a Jets muck, key, mukbang. When I, when, I edit, when I edit, I'll order something like that. <laughs> Didn't we do a Jets there. clip already? Was yeah. There yeah. <laughs> when you get, and I said Jets is closed. Lore. It's lore. It's free airtime. Dude, Jets, if you ever want to sponsor, we don't even Seriously. need anything fancy, but like a yeah. coupon code. Would be sick. Just know that you have to be like pro conspiracy. Could you imagine? Get your pro Israel. Get a large pepperoni pizza. Use code wet to get extra sauce. Yeah, (laughs) extra sauce. What for? What on the side? Get some marinara. Yo, I was dipping my pizza in barbecue sauce. That's your. Yeah, just get get a barbecue pizza. That's disgusting. You just ruined pizza. But you dip a barbecue chicken pizza in ranch. Yes. Yeah, but not a barbecue. Not ranch my regular on pizza. any pizza, dude. But not. But what kind of ranch? You better be doing good ranch. We we. I don't want that craft shit near my pizza. Hold on, Jets Ranch. Jets Ranch. Mm. Ooh, wet. That's a wet. It's thick. If you don't have ranch with your square pizza, you ain't living. Actually, I can't eat. Yeah, I was like, guys, go back to the aliens. <laughs> no, no, the unethical aliens life are eating hack. the pizza. Okay, here's an unethical life hack, like. Well, the parking tickets. Let's let's see how bad of an ethical. Would we just did that. We just did it. I no, would, I said, okay, we'll this is one. Oh, this is one I didn't put up here, but like taking an excessive amount of ketchup when you're at a place that just offers ketchup. <laughs> just because you can. Or napkins. You yeah, know what I mean? That's... You're at you're at like a McDonald's and you're like, yeah, I'm taking all the ketchup. Yeah. I'm taking all the napkins. Uh-huh. I might even need that. straws at some point. His car is always stocked. His minivan was always stocked, dude. I'm like, I need a napkin. Got it. Pops yeah. out. Plethora. As someone who is constantly mad that I don't have condiments in my house, I'm going to start doing that. You ever been to my house, dude? I got Chick-fil-A sauce. Jordan, yesterday, we got Chicken Express. No, it's in the fridge. Okay. We got Chicken Express, and she goes, uh, they go, you want some, uh, she goes, I want the spice package. Where did you get Chicken Express? At Chicken Express. Where's the Chicken Express down here? (laughs) By my house. Sometimes I love the questions that get asked and the answers that get answered They've got good biscuits. They got great oh, no, biscuits. No, no, I love their biscuits. No, 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 no. We're not they doing good biscuits food. again, no biscuits dude. I have biscuits at I'm, home. <laughs> I make biscuits. Have y'all ever had uh, what's it called? The uh, 
a Cheddar Bay biscuit. No, it's the orange one. It's from the East Coast. Ooh. What's it called? It has a like cone? A, no, it has like a racist name, it feels like. Bojangles. Oh. No, I never had Bojangles. Their biscuits are the best. I love Chicken Express biscuits, and I'm just saying that... <laughs> um, I'm just saying that she asked for the spice package. You were talking about getting the condiments. I was going to say that. It was going to be quick. Hold on. She goes, I want, she, he goes, uh, how many spice packets do you want? She goes, a lot. And I go, we, got, we have four chicken tenders. Uh-huh. What do you need? Just in case they forget next time. Yeah, Our dude. drawer is filled with spice packets already. Yeah. Yeah, and you can put it on other food. Exa- have, I know, Marcus. That's have crazy, you ever heard about it? Have you heard about Pete's hot sauce? Yeah, yeah, we have it, I think. At Chicken Express back home one time, my mom, like, we found out about it, and then we we ordered it with every Chicken Express meal we got when we were, like, after football games or whatever. And one time, my mom goes, pulls up to the drive-thru, and she's like, can we get some Pete's hot sauce with it? And the guy on the intercom goes, what you know about Pete's? Uh, 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 <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> my mom was like, I know that I like his hot sauce. <laughs> Like, so iconic. <laughs> what you know about Pete's is so funny, dude. It is so funny. Oh, my God. Uh, it's like a secret. <laughs> hey, I can tell you on an go life hack. Um, giving a fuck about somebody's life story that you're serving, man, you don't care at all. That's unethical. But Let me tell you how I got to this very table. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I saw you get there, sir. It took you 10 minutes to walk there. It took a long time. Yeah. You know what's wild, dude? He's waddling to the table. This is a later topic about the alcoholism, but I used to get shit faced at bars by myself. Cool. And you know, I'm I'm a pretty antisocial guy, so I don't really talk to people. But if I'm hammered, I will tell the bartender everything. Oh, I know you're. Oh, and they used to pretend to I listen. Could, yeah. And I just realized they weren't actually. I've listening. served a lot of you. <laughs> yeah. I serve a lot. I used to serve a lot of. And you. And people like you have served me a lot, dude. One time, oh my god, this kid came in. This kid came in on, like, a late-night bender. I don't think he went to sleep. He, I think he did mushrooms or cocaine all night. Nice. He comes in and sits at my bar. He orders weird stuff. He's, like, talking to me about life. He's like, what do you do, man? Like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to be a rapper. I'm trying to be a singer. You know, all this stuff. And he's getting all these drinks. He's trying to talk to me hardcore. He starts writing lyrics. And he goes, hey, man, can I sing you my song? And I'm like, no, you're fucking not. I, go, I was trying to tell him, like, no. No, he's like, I got to tell you, dude, I just wrote this out. And he starts, like, rapping it and singing it to wow. me. I can't remember the lyrics, but he's in the middle of the restaurant. Restaurant's full capacity. Yeah. This kid's at my bar like, yo, like, what happened to the door? And you, you come go back, through the door. and you're like, I boxed your food up to go for you. <laughs> nope. Kept, I just kept sitting there and talking to him. I'm like, yep, this is awesome. Justin was that doing kid- ad libs, like, hee hee. Check, yeah. check out this video of Ambush the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude. And then get this. <laughs> Rich, so that Rich, whole Rich thing, Retreat the ground was So that funny. kid talked to me. He was freaking all my regulars out. He kept talking to me. He was crazy. I'm like, guys, don't worry about him. He's fine. But he was talking to everybody. Everybody that sat down to him, he was telling them. A- You're telling me some asshole showed up in public on Molly? <laughs> <laughs> but, that was good. Yes, possibly. That was good, dude. But, and then the funny Works thing every is, time. so that day ends. The next, what, you just turned me off. What the fuck? Yeah, you're on. Hello? <laughs> hey, how, hey, Justin, how's it going? What? It's me, Phil. Well, every time you touch that fucking thing, I you wanted don't... to do this. Works every time. Well, yeah, 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 Marcus, the you're button. there too. What's going on? I, would, I tried, dude. I fucking suck at it, guys. Dude. What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm Justin... sorry. I tried to hey, do Marcus it. Hey, Marcus is messing up again because he got excited, but he doesn't know the buttons after yet 35 episodes. What of are y'all the talking about? Y'all doing the pod without me? No, no, we're trying to do the podcast together. You, bu- I think you butt out. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm right now. telling Phil, I'm talking to you back. What's Phil? going on, Phil? Mar- I can't, Justin. Phil. I can't do this. Phil. Hand the phone to Marcus. It'll make more Phil. sense. Okay, here, Marcus. Mar- Philip wants to talk to you. Yo, hey, Marcus, what's up, dude? What are you doing? What is Justin tripping about? I don't fucking know. What is he saying? I don't think Shut we'll ever up. know, dog. He- you know what Shut I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, what are you trying to do? What- I don't know. You, you can come over and smoke. Just tell Justin you got to go home and like take care of it. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, he's pissing me off, dude. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll start up the PS5 right you ever, now. You ever smell him? No, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me see. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. He hung up. He hung up. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I was, I was, I hey, Phil. Hey, yeah, yeah, what's hey, Phil, up? Hey, Phil. Are you yeah. doing anything hey, later? Uh, me, I'm, I'm supposed to go on a date with, uh, you know, I'm supposed to, you know. Damn, I was trying to hang out, dude. I was thinking we could play like PS5 or something. Oh, I don't have the PS5 anymore. I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
What's that sound in the background? I hear something sounds like a video game system starting. Oh, that's the cat. Oh. <laughs> Is that just doing that thing where it meows hey, like that? Are you sure, man? Because I mean, I'm free. I'm like free. <laughs> yeah, I'm just real busy today, honestly. I think it's you maybe my... want to go golf. Then? Could you go? Yeah, we can. We uh, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm actually already. I'm golfing tomorrow with Mar. I mean, I'm golfing tomorrow with. Uh... Well, hey, man, it's cool. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know, if anything, <laughs> hey, Phil, it's cool. If anything happens, you know, I'll just, I'm just gonna chill at home. You know, just, I'm just gonna edit clips of your face. <laughs> <laughs> if anything comes up, just let me know. Yeah, man. I know, I'm I, happy, you know. If you, you want, I would money? love to hang out. You need gas money or something, man? I know. I don't need no. No, there. I don't need gas money because I'm not driving. I don't need gas money because I'm not gonna be driving anywhere. I'm at don't home. Don't put me out again. I'm a- Phil, put, put, Mar- put, me- <laughs> put Marcus back on the phone. Dude. Why? Because uh, I it was, uh this is getting I'm- out of hand. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you trying to golf tomorrow? Yeah, man. Yeah. I think I'm pretty free. <laughs> I could squeeze in nine right now, too. Yeah, man. I squeezed <laughs> nine into some bitch last night. You know hey. what I'm saying? Man, I... Justin could never. <laughs> yeah, he played. He... <laughs> 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 I got to go, man. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, that was That's super crazy. negative. No, yeah, Justin, it... you could definitely play nine holes of golf. <laughs> Just a you good can golfer. So when the when you're the butt of the joke, does where does that unfall under mediator? <laughs> it means that we both have to say something nice to yeah, you. Yeah, we really. And I'm, Ooh, I'm ready for this one. <laughs> I, it was so Ooh. it was so funny. I can't get out of the mode right now. You know? <laughs> no, honestly, keep going. Yeah, I keep going. No, I can't. <laughs> Your gray hairs make you look very wise. Very, very wise. I like playing. Video- I was gonna say a mean joke, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I like playing video games with you more than Phil. Yeah. I don't like playing video games with you. You give me anxiety. I like yeah, playing but you're with paying Phil- attention. I like playing with. Oh yeah, that's true. But Phil- yeah, Philip actually stops like playing like halfway through the game because he's already won, and he just starts texting and we're losing or close game. And then I try, and I'm yeah. still losing, so he just pisses me off, and he's just like, "What's going that's on?" I like playing with you. He looks at me and he goes, like, "Are you are you still playing?" I'm like, "I'm trying my hardest right now, and I'm getting I'm losing." So I think unethical. Maybe is there an unethical I think something life hack un- of friends? Is yeah. that a thing? That should be in there. I think it's unethical. I think we should have a friend to, thing in there. It's unethical to dogpile on your friend for no reason, for sure. It's not a life hack though. And honestly, I mean, it's I'm going to tell you. Funny. And it can ran. I tell you something about your little your little jokey joke thing that felt too real? <laughs> he said it felt too real. <laughs> it felt. It, that was like, hey, if you're watching this from home and you guys think, oh, this is Hollywood, this is filming shit. No, this is real. This is okay, my life. Can I be honest? They're playing with my life, people. Can I be honest? For all you new watchers out there, welcome to Works Every Time, where my friends just shit up. I'm can I be honest? I'm Justin? kidding. They don't. It's a really nice show. It's a good show. Can We're I be family honest? friendly. And I, I think I speak for Phil when I say this. What? Anytime me and him are hanging out, it would be awesome if you are also there. I don't know <laughs> when you're there. Yeah, but when, when you're you're most of the time, are you Biden? You are you Biden? You got Biden? Whenever, whenever Marcus has a flight, <laughs> you gotta yeah, come. Over you gotta here. come over when I have a flight. I know, but you, I don't, yeah, I know. I, I went, anytime I fly. Honestly, last night after hanging out here, and then they were like, "Come back to Phillips." Okay, I was excited. I was like, I should go, but I knew I had to wake up already but early this, in the morning. And then I was like, I'm just gonna be there longer, and then it's gonna be harder to drive home. The second you said I'm cashing out for the night, that's when. Phil said, I'm cashing out for the night. And then JJ said he's cashing out for the night. And then I had to be like, Can well, I... I still need to get my fucking tool from Phil's house. <laughs> that's the only reason why you wanted to go there anyway. You could care less about No, that's why out. I needed to go there. Exactly. I wanted that's to hang saying. out. No, I, but the, I was, the nail I was, was what I needed. And that's fine. We all went home. Well, I drank, we all just drank, drank a little that. bit too much at the little celebration at the good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah by hey, the way. We <laughs> had 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah, you guys were all yeah, I got an Uber. I didn't, I didn't No, drive. I drove you guys all home and I then you texted me individually that you didn't want to hang out. Anymore. Allie picked me up. <laughs> Allie did pick you up. Yeah. And then Marcus took me home. Yeah, I took Justin all the way home. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was surprised I could fit in that small ass car you got. <laughs> Joke ass car. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll say something positive. It runs. <laughs> You mean as fuck. Fuck you, dude. That was Wait, this fuck is why you, you don't get invited over to play. I know. Dude. This is why I don't get yeah. invited anywhere. Fuck this you, is, dude. This is my whole career why I haven't gone anywhere to. Yeah. Fucking, I'm an asshole. Oh, because here's uh, the thing. Oh, that felt too yeah. real with the fake phone that call. Felt too that real. was the realest shit you could have said. I do. It is a piece of shit. Tiny ass fucking car. I know. And that, it, 
but it runs. And that's why and that's they, it. And that's why the joke works. I think we need to replace one of us on the podcast. Who? 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 I just wanted to say it. I just really wanted to say it. Just see what yeah, I think we should, too. I think we should get have, rid like, of this fucking game? guy. <laughs> Is it like we got to vote somebody off the island? You don't think we can't find another white yeah. Mexican guy with a gay dad around here? We'll find one. <laughs> Who would That's we a, vote off? I mean, hey. I got binders a full of that. Would that be a game? Like <laughs> Binders? Like, have you seen yes. all the game shows now on, t- on reality TV? That they vote people off islands now. We should start a new podcast trend. Vote people off the podcast. Yeah, vote people off Epstein's Vote them back. Who? What host do you want back? We should have a guest on twice just to fire him on the second episode every time. That would time. be amazing. Yeah. You're, fired. Somebody... You're fired. You suck. We treat him really nice the first episode and then just trash him. I think Trump should come out with an ad. For years I said you're fired, but you now get... I was fired at. That is a fun way to sur- uh, structure a <laughs> podcast if you have a guest is like make them apply up front, do an interview, and then in the middle you're like working with them, and then at yeah. the end of the podcast you have to fire them and let them go. Like, look, well, this is what you did wrong. <laughs> We'll never have you back. We'll never have you back. You seriously, you suck. Yeah. No. The the apprent pod. A thousand subscribers. Yeah, we got. uh, Yeah, we hit a thousand and ten actually. Because we we have that insight. We have that. We have that level of visibility. The way with Marcus is with numbers. He always has to say this specific is number, dude. Yeah. You can't just round. You right. Not have like to Justin say owes it. me twenty-seven dollars and thirty-two cents. And he knows that because I still do, and that's from last month, which he's not getting. (laughs) It rolls over. Yeah. yeah. Interest. I thought he was being nice and buying me a meal, but turns out Marcus needs it to buy his car. What is new- what is what meal did you get for twenty seven dollars? No, Taco I just, Bell. I'm, I'm being facetious. Taco Bell. Oh, okay. Honestly, we did actually go to Taco <laughs> Bell the other day. Forty six dollars. What? Yeah, you gotta go on the app. That's the only way to eat fast food now. What do you mean? You That's have crazy. To, you have it's to pull cheaper up on the app? Everything is cheaper on the app. Shut up. Dude, McDonald's is like Nothing on the app. We've talked about this. I didn't know. Is that a, un, that's an unethical life hack from everybody? It's because they're selling your data. That's why. Oh. No, but yeah, at get, least you are. And I don't. Hey, I don't mind that. Yeah, buy Does one, your food come one. faster? Does your food yeah, come faster? Absolutely. And, but Biden knows and they, how I eat. And they eat. say thank you for coming, Philip. Biden, Biden doesn't know how you eat. But his, Biden doesn't know how to eat. His I, his minions know how you eat. And they're like, this guy needs to eat. They're more. making he another minion eat. movie too, by the way. They're making a Despicable yeah. Me Four. Isn't that crazy? They're great. <laughs> Minions: Rise of Gru is fucking phenomenal. Say I, something. I dare you. I can't stand the minion. I, I don't want to say I, anything. It gets a lot. It also sounds like some kitchens in the south hey, when they start talking. Why? Why is every minion movie just this microphone? Ah! <laughs> Eighty-five million. We do, we do. We do, we do. That's how you say ambulance and minion. Why are there so many minions? <laughs> you know it's a real language. Shut the fuck up. I, if that's a real language, the earth is flat. The, fuck there's, you. there's a translator. <laughs> if it, minions is a real language, then the earth is flat. That's funny. Minions. Minions. Banana like that's, language. That's racist. Yeah. Which is a mix of many languages, including Spanish, Italian. That's why it does sound like a kitchen when oh. they talk. Bidu, bidu, bidu. <laughs> that was right. Okay, that was right. None of them are German, bello. though, huh? Papi, mi want banana. Da da da, bala tu. Banana. I'm, 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 you. I'm Wait, hungry as me want banana. Ta ta, bala tu is I hate you. Oh, that's kind of speaking Spanish. Oh my God, Spanish. can I tell you guys? Uh, can I tell you? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Can I tell you a funny story that happened yesterday at work? Yeah, but say it in Minionese. <laughs> okay, okay. Bello, bello. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Me want banana. Me want banana. Da-da, bala, Justin does the minion voice. Da-da, da, da, well. bala, tu. Thank you. Oh, what? Bidu, 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 bidu. Wait a minute. Campe, campe, campe. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we got to stop. We got to stop. We did. All right, welcome to all our new followers in if, Minion Land. If you're uh, still here. If you're still after. here, bibu D. Dude, if you're, um, yeah, if we're an hour and 23. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say? say? What did you say? You. If you're still here, be do. Thank you. I said. Oh, you said thank you? No, I said be booty. Which one is be booty? Which one is also uses on o top of pia, with onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> such as be do, be do, be do to signal a fire. Oh, that's the thing Phil was doing. We do, we do. I can't believe I'm learning be. Uh, Minionese right now. Kanpai. I can't wait to talk to all the children. Kanpai is cheers. You guys. I distract that from the record. I didn't mean it was a joke. What the fuck? Me di How do you yeah. say? How do you say I'm kidding in Minionese? How do you say what? I'm kidding in Minionese. Me pal. <laughs> Me pal. 
No, not me, pal. Me, pal. No, I wanted fried chicken. Me, pal. What is the overlap me, between minionese and the language that the little fucking hooded things in Star Wars speak? Ooh. Oh, uh, that's the that's the chuba. What are those? The Ewoks. Ewoks. No, no, not the. E- <laughs> Never mind. Ewoks. Okay. Yeah, they. <laughs> Don't they just the they Jawa, just, language. Jawa. Yeah, Jawa language? Yeah, yeah, Jawa language. Man, if you're listening now, you're like, "What the fuck are these oh guys God, on?" Dude, yo, we're on that shit. We're on that. Yo, we're getting Christian. a new. Go, we're gonna oh, get new fans today. We're gonna get a new crowd. Hey, Comic Con. Speaking of Comic Con, oh, you're gonna see us at Comic Con next week. Bawadia. <laughs> In the past. <laughs> Justin, doesn't, all Justin doesn't even like Star Wars and he nails it. Yo, okay, for real. Can you type in <laughs> can you type in the Tuscan Raider sound? How do you know uh, all of these tell things? Me the Tuscan Raider sound and tell me it's not Justin's laugh. <laughs> okay, we'll hear this. That's Tuscan Raider sound sound, yeah. Here we go. I think Justin was the guy that killed all those Padawans. <laughs> Get fucked. That every time I watch Star Wars and I hear, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> it's literally what you laugh like. I understand them. They're not they're, laughing. They're, they're talking. They're OP, dude. Yeah. They're talking. They're OP as hell. Justin, they're saying they're saying this is all fake. Justin's a Tuscan Raider, dude. Yeah. They're saying the Earth is flat. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Earth is flat. <laughs> that means Earth is flat. Oh my God. Put your headphones back on so you can hear this mess. Oh God. <laughs> You know, sometimes this is my comfort They scare thing. easily, but they will return in greater numbers. Oh, my God. Could you imagine <laughs> 10 Justins laughing at once? No. That uh, would be scary. They'd be like a gang. Like the we'd goddamn, start a, we, could, we could win a war with that. You could take over part of a desert. Come on, Kim, <laughs> Kim Jong-un. If you, had, if you had a thousand of me laughing at Kim Jong-un, his head would explode. Anyone's head would war's, explode. War's done. A thousand of you is Or terrifying. just me on one loud phone. Loud. We already got that. And it's 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 really doing numbers for the pod. Appreciate that. Shout out to anybody on fucking the the Pete. Have you seen the comments on Instagram about his laugh? Yeah, the no. people are keeping up with you it. You haven't now. seen him? No. There's like people who you. That's part of it, people know you're laughing. They're like saying, "Bring the goose back." Yeah. <laughs> the clips where you're not laughing like that, they're like, "Where's the goose at?" That's because <laughs> that's, you're goose. We, you kind of look like a goose too. You have goose like yeah. qualities. Yeah. No. What's good yeah. for the goose is good for the podcast. Got like a long no, neck. No, good for the gander. Long neck. Yeah, the podcast. The gander. The podcast. The gander podcast. The gaggle. Podcast gander. In Justin's case, it's called the gaggle. I'm a gaggle. He's a, he's a I goose. gaggle. I'm a goose now. I'm a goose. <laughs> uh, what do goose talk like? Like your laugh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it fucking exist. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's it. Okay. This All dude, right. Moving on. Driving we're, unethically. We're, Marcus is that piece of shit. He takes his little car and uh, he'll take it. He'll drive to the end. And everybody's like, I do that too on uh, the uh, the merging on Mopac. Merging that thing, lanes, anything where oh, there's construction. If, it's, if, if I'm on my way to work, I'm already running late because it's work. Let's be real. I got to take a shortcut, people. So you're going to have to move. <laughs> And guess what? I'm going to cut in front of you because guess what? You're probably on your cell phone anyway. Well, I'm on my cell phone, but I'm being more... Better edgy, about better it. Better about it, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm texting I'm, my boss right now. I'm late while I'm switching lanes. Maybe that's why you're late. I don't know. Have you ever driven in a car with Philip? Yeah. It's terrifying. You see him, on, how he is on the podcast with the phone? I'm a great Imagine driver. He does that while driving. Yeah. It's crazy watching him edit what the fuck while he drives yes. with his knees. I've never been, I've never gotten into a car accident that was my fault. And that's why it's so great. That's why the show, what never the fuck is going Never been my on? fault before. I always get hit. I was never, yeah, like, dude. that's the most Trump answer ever. Yeah. It's never been your fault. Wait, what's never the unethical life have of with what the fuck is going on then, Phil? What's unethical about that? Going up to drunk people oh, yeah, and, and okay. exploiting them. <laughs> Well, That's unethical. Exploiting drunk people uh, who yeah. aren't really consenting because they don't know what this is, what? and they almost never get credit. Well, can I? In, can I? In credit, almost. Can I? Almost. Yeah. I say in defense, he did change someone's life like two weeks ago. So. Yeah, he finally paid me back. No, I'm fucking kidding. What? I don't think it's unethical. It's a joke. I think what is not that unethical is that. Um. No, I. It's we're fucking. <laughs> Wait. Stop. Don't. No. He's gonna say something. Don't let him say it. Cause he's an idiot. Let him hit the vape. You see something positive. Go jerk off you in the say corner. Something positive. You just called him. An he's idiot. got balls of steel. He goes out there on Sixth Street with fucking dog, horse, and cat shit. I did step in the shit last week. Everywhere he did stepped you? in Doing shit. It for Dude, over, hey, hey, they got some rocks. They need to clean that no. shit up. Literally. White, a wide Air Maxes. God damn. That sucks. Damn. Did the cops yeah. laugh at you? 
Did no, the horse... but I was <laughs> laughing at myself. I think there's enough smart engineering students at UT Austin where they could develop some sort of like catching mechanism. Yeah, I think that also... attaches to a horse's butt that just catches the poop. Turn that horse into a buck and bronco real quick. Yeah. I, these cops got to know how to ride. Why don't we just put a diaper on a horse? I was just thing on my spot. elbow. Yo, it's just yo, a cyst, but I'm getting a horse worried diaper. About it. Yo, for real? It'd just be a big ass garbage bag, dude. No way. Why? Dude, that hey, thing's hey. weird. That thing has to has a, a carrier for his dog. Yeah, why, it's that, so big. why that one bottom right middle kind of look like it's wearing yeah. a fucking one thong. second? Now that we know that this exists, I am low key pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, cops, you should get this for your... Uh, but I you... also think they make it happen because it's it's a deterrent to split the street traffic up. They do it on purpose. They fertilize Absolutely. the street, huh? No, I think it keeps people from just being everywhere all at once. Well, well you it doesn't work that I think well. it's just they're being lazy and they don't want to clean it up. They clean it up every single Sunday. They come through with a big truck. Yeah, Sunday. Well, guess what? It's Saturday, sir. Saturday. And there's shit Saturday, on the fucking Saturday. street. Saturday. Shit. 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 They get mad at us. Say, hey, you can't be doing that. And they're just like, hey, our horses just shit wherever they want. Hey, is that a business? We're going to shit in front of it. And then Justin goes, <laughs> <laughs> that's, <I'll> why, clean. <laughs> that's why Justin got the DUI. He was speaking minion. There. <laughs> How many drinks have you had? It's a discriminatory because I'm small and yellow. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> That's my liver. <laughs> dude, they should make an adult Minions movie. Where that would be them funny. Getting fucked doing oh whippets and shit. But, they actually, oh but they're actually <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah, dude, one would be funny if one of them does a whippet and then just starts talking like fucking Gru. Hey, have you ever watched it on a psychedelic? Well, I have it also yellow. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever watched it on a psychedelic? Minions? No. Yeah. No, you, you There's you, better movies to yeah, watch on buddy, psychedelics than minions. You need a coach. Well, he defended it. <laughs> I, he defended minions like it was the greatest movie. So, you know, I thought he might do stuff. Justin, like, oh. can we teach you how to trip? Can yeah, trip over my shoes every day. I'm pigeon toed. I walk That's why he can't trip right. He's pigeon toed. It's Cause you cross your legs all the time like a lady. Because my my fi- Not legs stopping just, me. My legs just go that way. Why is that, do you think? Because I'm pigeon-toed. I just said, your <laughs> questions today are really smart. What is going on no, with you? No, I was you? like, why, why do you think you're pigeon-toed? Because I was born with pigeon legs. Man, that sucks to be born like that. <laughs> yeah, it does, because your legs just go <laughs> in. Tough shit. Am I the only one with normal fucking legs on this pod? You don't have normal legs. You're wearing women Jordans right now. Yeah. No, no, these you are the small men's. small-ass feet. Those are the other ones that are women's <laughs> What Jordans. size do you wear? Nine. Yeah, that that's a woman's size. It is small. Yeah, it's, it's small, small, but it's not a women's size. Yeah, yeah I, I have small feet. Over here, feet. I got scoliosis and pigeon toes. I can't barely walk, but he got small feet. Aha! Now, you never, can you, you look never up? hear Marcus coming, dude. He's always, yeah, just... you never hear me coming. And you have good eyes, too, don't you, Marcus? You're yeah, 20, shit. 2020. You suck. I used to have better than 2020 in one eye. Then what you do, you got coming? What is better than 2020? <laughs> the doctor like was 20, like, you have better than 2020. You can see through things. Yeah, yeah you can see way yeah. better. I yeah, guess. I can see through your bullshit, Phil. Damn it. Every time. What do you got? So that means you're like 2120 or 1920. I got 2024 vision, actually. <laughs> I can see it. It's almost over, thank God. What can you see happening in I mean it's no, in the but middle look, of the, look it up. is in the middle of the year. What what do you think is gonna happen at the end of the year? You think it's war? Oh, America's not gonna be a country by uh, Christmas. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Get if that's, it the, if that's you, the case, I want to know if it's flat or why, me why do you think so many people are celebrating Christmas in July? I've never seen this many people celebrate Christmas in July. Well, that's be- it's because they know. What's y'all's plan? I'm going to Marfa. Where's Marfa? I'm coming with you. Is that Mars? Heading Can west. we play NCAA down there? I'm heading west, and I'm bringing a generator. What's nice. Marfa? It's a small town in Texas. Okay. Shit hits the fan. I'm well, out of Well, I here. already have a house down south, so that's where I'll go. Oh. Uh, I'm, yeah, camp- I'm camping in your backyard, dipshit. We have an acre. <laughs> Dude, we could set up a we could set up a thing. We get some campers. Oh, I'm got setting up all it. my shit. PAs. Please. That would be amazing. We could just live there. Every single every single night you're gonna wake up at three in the morning and be drunk, rolling around in your grass, going, Teacher. <laughs> there are many <laughs> things I don't understand. I, I do think it's hilarious the idea that during George the, Michaels at three during in the, the apocalypse, there's still gonna be people like Dude, I'm doing karaoke tonight. Fuck oh, it, yeah. bro. There's still going to be people oh, going what? like, hey, where's the open mics at? Yeah. I'll tell you what's not going to matter during the uh, the Civil War. The HOA. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk about small governments? <laughs> <laughs> small governments. Yeah, you didn't cut your grass and I shut the fuck up, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, you can't shoot, dude. It's just, 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 just brandish. We can I brandish thought- now. 
What are you talking about? No, you, he's making sound effects with with a real gun in his hand, but he's making sound effects. Watch out. So what, whenever I'm done getting pulled over with cops, I'll go, stay safe out there. Uh, you do? No, no you I fucking, fucking don't. don't. Hey, whenever I get, hey, whenever I get done, I, hey, whenever I get done, I Real flip them off. I, I go like this. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for ruining my day. No, I, I do hate the the awkward drive off moment. It's like a walk of shame situation where you have to. Because they let you go, or sometimes they just gun it. And, and when then they, I always look at them in the back of the mirror, and I'm like, are they gonna follow me? Are they, don't they, follow what, me. What, what if I, they pulled you over again? Good twofer. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Hey, you didn't do the stop sign again, No, 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 no. It's like they pull you over. It's like, you know, your registration is lapsed and stuff. And then they pull you over five minutes later. They're like, do you know? It's like, I, it was right. When did you want me to do it? That's harassment. (laughs) They're like, well, you're supposed to take an Uber home. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself, dude. Marcus, you are, you are a very aggressive man. I'm sorry. Was that too? That hurt. You guys were yelling a lot. I mean, I didn't yell once. Teacher. Uh, fucking idiot. They are many, many things. So another unethical life hack. Let's talk about overdraft fees. If you got an overdraft fee, Phil, take it away. How do you get rid of those? This is a fun one. So if you want to keep all the money you've ever earned forever, <laughs> and never spend any of it. You can spend it all the time, but you call your bank and you tell them that you didn't spend the money. That that was not you. Got to be a credit stole card. Stole right? your credit card or debit card. It doesn't matter. They're all insured up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So I can just I can go buy a car right now and say call the bank tomorrow and be like, that was not me. Absolutely. And I get to keep the car. No, the, and then, I get the money. That's property. They're gonna come. Do after I make it. more yeah. money? Can I make money on you this? You gotta too? buy no. the food, eat the food, say you didn't buy the food. Right. Okay. Go on Sixth Street, rack up like fifteen tabs, and be like that was not me. But you gotta have a night of town. But then, can they look at the camera? That's that's where the question comes in. How much does that person really care about their job? I guess. Dude, it's so funny how much Phil factors in the fact that people suck and are lazy at their he jobs. He does, dude. He, but he uses that information to make decisions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I also suck and am lazy at my job. Yeah, but you use it to like, okay, you bake that into the equation of your life, man. You're like, okay, I mean, it's just like this Walmart, cop's dude. not hardworking enough. The person at Walmart isn't going to catch me stealing the steak. And then the fucking person giving me the ticket's probably not smart enough to even write the right fucking thing. And then on top of that, there's oh. this thing you're talking about, which I already forgot because of the time span thing we talked about earlier. <laughs> the eight second. Yeah, I mean, man, I mean, you guys, like, you guys, how yeah, busy. Phil is under, a goldfish might beat him in a, in a no, picking contest. No, I think that's like it's good because, like, you, I, I always go over prepare or whatever. But I think the mindset there is, like, it's like my life is so busy and, like, I would imagine that other people would just not. A goldfish's care. life is busy too. You've worked. You've worked. Bowl. You've worked a pencil pushing job before. But you get that's it. what's crazy that to me. Gets fu- put. Just, yeah. Da, so da. what you say is you take it. When it doesn't add, dude. When I was a telemarketer, I would sit there and call. If I went to voicemail, I just like write in a fake fucking phone call, or I just act like I was on the phone for twenty minutes. I'd be like, ah! I'm not. It would go like it'd be me. I'd be like, oh yeah, you think you're coming this Tuesday? Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, no, the dog's doing fine. Yeah, the whole vet thing last week was crazy, but we got it figured out. Oh, yeah, me? Yeah, I'll be here on Tuesday as well. Yeah, no, I'll save some popcorn for you. Okay. There's just no one on the phone the entire time. My boss is looking over at me like, I'm like, yeah, she's they're coming on Tuesday. I go in and just, like, mark that they're not coming next to the next fucking call. Ah! Dude, that's so fucking crazy, man. That's so crazy, dude. Because, like, well, I, like you, that's how you operate life? Or I worked with another comedian, and we'd call each other and try not to break. So we'd be having like a conversation, we'd be just like doing the same pitch back and forth, but I'd make it sound like we try to like, you know, you're not cookie cuttering the same <laughs> phrase. So like, oh yeah, you cut out this Tuesday. Was this like, an hey, hourly? Okay. You think you think you're gonna make it out this week? <laughs> so not commission. So it was we, all hourly. You no, know, we, so we get bonuses based on attendance. So we did have interest in getting people there, but also Wait, you had- it wasn't something you had to sell. It was an auto auction. It's like the people who are coming to buy vehicles come to buy vehicles because they need vehicles. I have nothing to do with their supply and demand. Sure, I can remind them that we're the number one option <laughs> to buy vehicles in an auction setting in the that's Metroplex. An absolute psycho. Dude. Yeah, no, he's a savage. That's yeah, savage. savage. No, Sorry. That's, that's like okay, you're gonna pay me this much money. This is how much I'm gonna think about it. You know what's crazy, dude? <laughs> that's how you think about it, and I think about it like everyone is so doing their job so hardcore all the time that they're all gonna get me at the same time. If it's worth doing, like, dude, if I was back in there, I would have I would have done that for like a year. I would have taken that resume and I would have gone on and do something way better with a higher pay, pay end. Yeah. For a company that like valued a, a digital designer and marketer. They were just like, yeah, you're gonna be really good at telemarketing and essentially we're gonna pay you to graphic design. How are you design. just never paranoid, man? 
What do you mean? Paranoid about what? I was doing like comedy. Everyone coming to get you. I knew I what wanted you, to do what? comedy. I knew that I have, a, I have an absolute safety backboard in comedy because at that point I was like already doing like okay at it. So I was like, okay, well, I really don't even give a fuck about this job. Yeah. If they fire me, that's going to be a great new five minutes. Yes. Yeah, and it was. Good. Yeah, actually, I got, uh, yesterday I got, was trying to get poached. I was trying to poach me and I'm trying to tell him, I'm like, this pays my bills. I'm fine with it. I really don't care about what did my he, What did he I, want I, you to do, though? He, I'm just to work at Dance uh, around in his underwear place. while he cleans his apartment. <laughs> yeah, he just wanted me to work at a place called The Hills. It's a, it's a club. And I'm like, it would be good more money, but it's in Lakeway. And I'm also like, this job that I got, it's fine. I'm doing fine. You live way out by the lake. That's pretty I close live, to Lakeway. Yo, Lakeway, you, you trying to make money, dude? Go to Lakeway. Yeah. I thought about it. So, I, you know... But then we're I'm never going to see Justin again. That's what I mean. If I, if I go out there, then I'm going to be like, well, I'll see you when you work anyway. Justin, I miss you, dude. I miss I, you too, I, man. I miss you. Man. Man. Oh. Don't just say what I say to say it. <laughs> like, you got to be original with the shit, dude. Oh, yeah, so I, I really miss you, Where's man. Where's that sales shit you were talking about, hey, man? You know, it's got to be been, a little... Like, guys, we're you not, know, you not know, getting paid. I appreciate I miss everybody, you know, and I just... You can't miss everybody. I'm then it doesn't mean anything. Oh, now okay, I don't miss okay, you as okay. much anymore because you're a liar. I'm talking about y'all. Oh. And I would love to do that, you know? And I've been focusing. We've been working hard, you know, for good things. We're we're pushing things forward so, you know, we can hang out. You know yeah, I mean? but we don't hang out. I know. I'm wor- I know. I'm working. We, we've been hanging out for an hour and 40 minutes. I've been yeah, working. but this is And then work. we hung out for an hour Why do you look that? so sad about it? Because it's taxing. This is what? <laughs> what else were you going to do? Oh, he does gonna... slouch more. I would love to so do a much time to do. lapse episode. Of you want to know what I have to do? Oh, yeah, I do. Tell okay. us what I do. Oh, Here I got to go. go post. My phone's dead. You got lucky. I have a to-do list. I do. I have to edit the rest of WTF. I have to get an email blast done. I have to get the website updated. I have to plug in a couple of BOGO hey, codes for taking shows. Rule that number one, well. dude. Yeah, rule number yeah. one. Hey, this is, this no is you asked me what I had to fucking do, and you're going to hear every <laughs> fucking bit of it. I got to do laundry today, too. Allie left, so I'm going to have to figure out how to feed myself again. Every four days, I have to remember how to feed myself. And I always forget fully every time she leaves. <laughs> you always forget. Oh, I got, I got a show tonight. I got to host a show here. Yeah, two shows? Yeah, at Sunset I'll do Strip one of them for you. At the wonderful Sunset Strip Comedy Club, where we're shooting this podcast yeah, right now. Yeah, make sure you come out, even though this has come out after the show happened, but, you know, you We will have see. shows every night here. But also, I'm not on any, but can I get on one? <laughs> you want me to book you? You want me to book you? Oh, my God, that was perfect, I, I can book, dude. I can that book you on our show so right now. so funny. Please. Yeah, let me just text uh, God real quick and ask him if he can do a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. Did you say? Dead. Did you just say, text God and see if he can make a miracle? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I spoke that pretty was, clearly. Okay, Don't JJ pointed out how negative that was. Yeah. That was <laughs> I didn't mean it in like an entirety. I mean, like because I got something positive. Marcus, to spin Marcus, off of that. Marcus, and Philip. Well, just just Sunset in the last three days, they've done hate. more. You guys have done more comedy than I've done in like a month, two months, three you know, months. I I did fifty one so minutes on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, but if you want to come see Justin New Comedy, August twenty fourth. We're gonna be a hyenas in the red room. Yeah, I am available for bookings. Before uh, that, for my sure. Facebook, I uh, I'm highly rated on Facebook. Got 1.7 stars. Out of- All right, y'all. You Thank have you 1. So much. Done? Yeah, well, it's an hour and 45 minutes. You, you always say the time like you just went through like a marathon of like the hardest. Dude, it is thing. funny while taxing it is on Phil. Like I'm not gonna deny to you, it is taxing for you. We're having a great time. I'm having fun. I could do another hour. It doesn't, like, burn you out to be on for a long time, though? I have to do this every day, but this is when I actually want to do it. I have to talk to people for eight hours a fucking day. I do want to. I guess it's just because I I have have to talk to old people, and they go, hey, so what's the weather like? Phil's outgrown the podcast. You've got to remember that. That's not true. It's my bad. (laughs) It's not true. (laughs) Hey, guys. Is that negative to say? It was mean. I haven't outgrown the podcast. I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be like that. They're going to play that sad song. It's like... We're going to play the graduation song and watch Philip just fade into the sunset. And we're going to be, <laughs> hey guys, say we're going to be together is. forever. No, but they weren't it. together forever. No, he's forever. about to say something. Mr. Tax, Not at all. Mr. Tax, tired man over here that's sitting in a comfy chair is taxed. What are we going to say? <laughs> what are we going to say? It's hard. Say, it's hard to sit like this. It's hard to sit like this. It's always hard to swallow, too. When you swallow and you do your big old I, well, speech, you Marcus know Marcus took my water, I think. So I've no, been that's your time. water. Oh, cool. I specifically. Oh! I specifically put mine See, on the ground. You said something people. mean. You said something mean. I, you were going to say mind, something mean. In my mind, and I smiled real big yeah, about I know, it. I and I was mad. Say and it. that light just flickered, and say I freaked it. out. The say moment it. passed. I wouldn't even remember how to word it now. 
That's bullshit. yeah, because you got the memory of a goldfish. Maybe, maybe I'll remember it by next week. Tune in for the Works Every Time podcast. Thanks for watching. Oh, you Every son Monday. Of a bitch. I don't want to wait till next week. Well, you don't have to, but they do. All right, I'll do the intro. That was the point of the intro. Right, I wanted uh, to do the intro. Okay, you do the intro. I never get to do the intro. I, I believe in you. I'm just welcome waiting. Welcome back. To intro. Colon. Do I read that part? The, do I read intro and then the colon? Do I say that? Say dash. Dash, welcome back dash, to the Works Every Time back. podcast. Quotes. Oh, shit. Dash quote. Dash quote. Dude, stop. Dash please, quote, please welcome. Just do it. <laughs> dude, this is taxing, please. Fuck you, dude. Shut up. I love you. All right. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. <laughs> we don't say I'm your host. Three, two. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, Justin Essenmacher, alongside me with... Marcus Olin. And Philip Garcia. Thank you to the... <laughs> Why do you do it like an announcer every time? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be the line, the next line after it. You got to read it. Justin, you got to practice. Justin doing the intro is called Never Fucking Works. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be funny. Fuck. No, you're being mean and cranky like an old dad. I don't like it. So taxing. <sighs> Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. No, we can't do that. We I'm your host. We can't have dog shit energy, please. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. <laughs> you, you're not doing it. How long is it going to take if you shut the... We're waiting on you. To Are you a... doing it? You, you... No, I'm doing it. Well, then take a shot. Well, I'm going to take a shot right now. Welcome back to the you like that. Welcome yes. back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host Justin Hessemacher. Alongside me with Marcus Solin and Philip Garcia. Thank you to the Sunset Strip for letting us record in your lovely place of business. Come here. They have live shows. There's a good chance you'll see us do it. Possibly, probably these two more than me. But you can come see us live here sometime at the Sunset Strip. Tech, check it out. Is that good? You, no. There's not another point. No. <laughs> Thank you to the Sunset Strip Comedy Club for having hosting us. <laughs> this is like this is the outro. This is unreal. This is the outro. <laughs> this it's is written. the fucking outro. It's written for you. <laughs> this is the outro. All of this should Can be. Can I used. look at Can it? Can you press? Make it bigger on the okay, screen yeah, for Yeah, maybe make it bigger. I have bad eyes. I got bad eyes. That's my problem. <laughs> Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, Justin Essemacher, alongside with... Marcus Solon. And Philip Garcia. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I didn't mean... I didn't mean... <laughs> what? what? I gotta pee so bad! Yeah, me too. Man. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it? No, you do it every week. Shut up. Well, it's because it gets fucking done. Every week we do this or we do that. Yours is boring. Happen. Yours is boring and playing and no energy. You do it so plain. It's like a German. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. We got that part? I'm, I get you got the host part? Okay. We just want to give a... Sh thank you. What? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It's like Jerry Seinfeld is here or something. Dude, just go pee and we can come back. You get back? Thank you to Sunset for letting <laughs> us record here. Come to some shows. There's a good chance you'll see one of us do a show. Probably them two, because they get booked more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Rate us on Spotify. <laughs> also, you can comment on Spotify now. So if you're listening over there and you're like, you want to leave us a comment, we'll be responding to those just <laughs> like we do on YouTube. Simple. Coming up, Hyenas Fort Worth, Red Room, August 24th. Us, live in the flesh. Works every time podcast. Me, Justin, Marcus, Philip. We're all going to be there. And Go Greg. check it out. Marcus might have an aneurysm by the time we get there. Maybe. He's old and cranky. Younger get him you. some food. He needs a Snickers bar, bitch. <laughs> you guys want merch? We got it. Link is in the bio below. Perfect. Link is in the description for our merch. Nice. This week. Oh, man, we got it this week. Let me just recap this week for you. We had a great podcast this week, guys. Uh, we talked about aliens. Are they real? Probably. Is the Earth... Is, we talked about... Sorry, let me do that again. This week, we talked about aliens. Are they real? I don't know. 
We talked about flat earth. The, the truth. We talked about Minions. That's the movie Minions. We talked about those characters. We learned Minionese. Um, we also learn unethical life hacks. If you're struggling in your life and you need like a little like hack to get through that that troubling time or of that a parking podcast ticket. intro that you have to do every week. If your friend has something very hard that he needs to do and leave and rush something that's more important than what he you know, dedicated we can do, our whole lives for. We can thank you for watching and enjoy the episode. Thank you so much and enjoy this episode. That's what kind of well, what I thought. Let's watch how serious Marcus does it. I'm so excited to watch this one. Let's hear it. Welcome back. Go ahead, Marcus. I'm not going to do it in Minion. No, go ahead. Go ahead. This is I can't too wait. good. I want, I want this raw footage for sure. This is the outro, please. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Olin, here with... A not happy person. Okay, you're just going to... I got to redo that. I got to reset. I realized okay, I was right. sad the whole time. I'll just say everyone's names. You fucking do that, I'm going to smack you. Just run through. Like, okay. Literally in case I need... Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Solon, here with... Justin Essenmacher. And, and Philip Garcia. Thank you so much to the Sunset Strip for letting us record here. If you're in Austin, make sure you check out a show. You might see one of us on it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, rate us on Spotify. You can also comment on Spotify if you want. Uh, so you don't just have to listen. You can, you know, do all the fun stuff on there. Check us out August 24th. We're going to be at Hyenas in Fort Worth in the Red Room, 10 p.m. Links in the description if you want to get tickets for that. Please check that out. Also, we got merch links in the description for myself and for Philip. Uh, this was a great podcast this week. We talked about aliens, whether or not they're real, and why Phil's scared of them. This guy apparently believes in flat earth. We'll get into all that. And uh, believe it or not, the minions have their own language, and he's fluent. So that was pretty cool. And then we got into some unethical life hacks. And, uh, yeah, we'll just let you figure out how that went. So enjoy this week, and thanks for checking out the Works Every Time podcast. Yeah, why didn't you just do it the first time? We could have been out of here. You want to hit it for real quick, too, Phil? I mean, holy fuck, that's easy. You why just have, so to, you have to read you like you're it. talking. You fucking want to done it. <laughs> After at some point, I'm fucking with you. No, no, now you're now you're backpedaling because you saw him fucking home run that shit. <laughs> no, he didn't home run shit. No, you were, you were Fuck that. No, no, I did that. I was fine. Whatever. No, no, Mar I did. I, I was. I fucking did better than Marcus. He doesn't. I. I people may never know. 